What's up there, Kryptonians? Almost in a new year. But uh, hey, what's up? Welcome back to uh, Draven's Crypt. Just a little hangout. See uh, what everyone's doing. Hey, D. Higgins. Love you, girl. I hope. Oh, shit. I just noticed. That's almost like a helmet. I really like that. It's almost like a Dolce and Cabana thing you got going on there. That is cool. I really like that. You should come on in one day. I would love to have you come on into the, the channel. I think that could be cool. Um, but yeah, uh, I'm just hanging out. I'm just I'm wondering what's happening with the the whole Vaughn situation. Did he show up to the wedding? Oh, it's a Chanel motorcycle helmet. Oh, that is awesome. You know, I can actually see the the glittery things around the sides. You know, I also wanted to kind of, hey, Ann Kennedy, what is up? And my sister from another mister. Uh, I wanted to just uh, also say, like, you know, I'm not, you know, and everyone knows this who watches me. I never was in Hater Nation. I just make silly videos. But I wanted to see what's happening with uh with Vaughn and actually if he showed up. Uh, because I don't know. Yeah, the funeral. Did I say wedding? Oh, whoops. <laughs> I will fix that later. Uh, but yeah, I don't I, I don't know what happened. I don't know if Vaughn showed up at, and I can't believe, you know, the the woman Alice, you know, got in. May she rest in peace. I can't believe that, you know, she would or that Vaughn would just not show up because out of spite for the frost, that's not how it works. If my mother, you know, God forbid anything happened to her tomorrow, I'd be there making their arrangements and I don't care who would be involved. Um, but yeah, I want to see if Vaughn, if, oh, I did say wedding. Uh, I'm, I'm sorry. I, I kind of feel like crap today. <laughs> wedding <laughs> oh I, I i will fix that uh hopefully i can fix that <laughs> that's silly yo. i'm just tired uh thanks for, yo thank you too though for telling me because normally people wouldn't tell me <laughs> but i'm glad i have you guys to to tell me but uh yeah what i was trying to say is uh i am not in a oh <laughs> I am not in ha Hater Nation. I just make my own stuff, and that's about it. We all have fun here. Um, but a lot of the people that people think are in Hater Nation aren't exactly in Hater Nation. I really think the people that are actually are, in my opinion, would be kind of like Cali and Cali's significant, and that's kind of it. So I don't... Hey, Villa. Hi, yeah, uh, you're right, darling. Uh, I'm not all right today. I, I'm feeling, I, I'm kind of feeling like crap. Oh, I'm, shit. Like, no. Yeah. I, yeah. I just, it, it's like, I felt like vertigo. You know what I mean? You know what vertigo is? Yeah. Yeah. Like, like crystals in, in my head were just kind of like, Ugh. yo, I made a mistake oh. on the thing, wedding instead of funeral. <laughs> I don't know why. Oh, shit. I, that's, yo, Villa, that's how messed up my brain is right now. Well, uh, but I, I saw you were live like eight o'clock this morning. Well, eight for eight o'clock for me. I know like, well, we're at time. Yeah. Like right now eight? it's eight thirty seven where I am. What time is it where, where you are? Uh, it is one thirty a.m. So I'm not going to be about for too long. It, wow. You're it's one thirty for you right now. Yeah. So I'm wow. going to be about for half an hour, an hour, but then I'm going to go to bed. Oh, yeah. Yeah, of course. I uh, just there's this game I'm playing. It's called Tales of Iron. I figure while uh, I ask you a couple questions about Vaughn, it's almost like I don't know if you ever heard Dark Souls. It's like Dark Souls, but if you were a mouse, it's really cool. Oh, cool. But other th other than that, so what happened? Did Vaughn show up to the funeral? No, not at all. He wasn't ever gonna go. So. Oh my. Wow, are you this serious? little story starts yesterday. Believe it or not. Okay. Yesterday, someone in Ron's live stream mentioned 
about Alice von Helsen. Sorry, no, Alice Helton. May she rest in peace. Mm-hmm. Her uh, obituary. And he's like, what? What obituary? What obituary? I didn't write no obituary. Von didn't. Off. Yeah, no, Von didn't. He went off on some insane rant talking about it. Well, the Frost did the obituary, didn't they? Vaughn had left Alice in cold storage the entire oh. time. He didn't do anything about the funeral. He'd already tried to scam $7,000 out of everyone, saying yeah. he needed to pay for the funeral, but he didn't. It had already been paid for. Well, turns out Vaughn discovered yesterday that uh, the funeral was happening today through the obituary yes. that he didn't even know existed until some amazing person uh mentioned it in his chat so like thank you whoever did that you are a fucking legend mate but yeah he wigged out and was like what what this so he didn't even finish the live stream then and there he's saying i'm going to call up the police they're gonna all get arrested every all the frosts are getting arrested for this all this what? shit for what though yeah. I don't know. I don't know why he thinks them writing an obituary is going to get them arrested. But here's the thing. The funeral happened today at Mm -hmm. 2. It started at 12 uh, p.m. Eastern time for the viewing of the body. That was able to be done up until Mm 2.30. And then it was the funeral... uh, ceremony began which would then lead to the procession to the cemetery and the burial which was on which was in the frost family cemetery which is on the very land that von's trailer is sat on so when von started saying all that stuff that his his mom was going to be buried next to a dog that was just crazy von bullshit yeah, uh, none of them know about a dog being... None of the Frost know of a dog being yeah. buried there. Um, it is the Frost family... Excuse me. It is the Frost family cemetery. There are multiple of the Frost family buried there. It is where Alice said she wanted to be buried last before her mind started slipping. But the thing okay, is... Okay, so they were just that, paying respects to where yeah, she wanted to be. I get that. Yeah. And bear in mind, Alice and her husband were divorced. They were divorced. It's not like Alice was is being not buried next to her dearly beloved husband, who she like was absolutely lost once they were once he died, and you know she wants to be buried beside him because their love is eternal and yada yada yada. They were divorced because there was infidelity. Yeah. Like, oh. And he didn't go to see the the body buried, even though it is apparently a hundred foot from his front door. That's so how close it is. There was, I mean, not to cut you off. You're you're saying that Vaughn's father, the Irvin Irvin Houghton, he or Irv, yeah Irvin Houghton, that's right, that's his name. Yeah, Irvin. He cheated on Alice. I believe apparently there was infidelity on both sides, but yeah, and also. Uh, of senior, um, he wasn't exactly the best of people. Apparently, he was the town drunk. Who oh, Irvin know, was? Yeah, we know someone who went to school. Uh, with one, mm-hmm. and he was saying. How like the dad used to buy everyone beer and they would give him a cup, they would give him a few cans out for getting them beer when they were underage and all this sort of stuff. So like he was apparently the town drunk. And that's why Alice was the one that, you know, had all the money and uh Irv Helton died without any money. Like he, he wasn't rich by at all. Alice was the rich one. Alice was the one that had like the mustard to actually grift and do shit, you know? And Alice bought him that house, right? Uh, Alice bought the house. 
Yeah. He doesn't own the house. It's not his. Alice owns that land, both trailers. She owns multiple tra- uh, properties that all the Frost, like, not so not all, but most of Frost live in a tra- in a property that Alice owns. Like, Alice did have money, but she never had millions. Never had millions. How many did, how many, uh, uh, old folks homes or nursery nursery homes did did alice own i believe it was just the one that i'm yep. not too sure on i but think the- i think it's very interesting though villa that alice did not want to go into one of those homes you know because she probably knew how you get treated in those homes you know what i mean yeah well here's the thing What Blue just said, what Vaughn did when he was working in that nursing home. So, like I said, we knew one of the people uh, that's part father and aunt went to school with Vaughn, right? Right. Well, they being in the town, in that town, and the things that they hear in the town, um, it was well uh, established around the town that there was a reason why Vaughn wasn't allowed to um, change the bedpans while the person was in the room. And why was that? He was apparently touching the people when changing the bedpans. He was touching, Vaughn was touching the elderly. Wow. Apparently, oh but this is just a town rumor. Like, there's no, I, I don't know if there's any legal paperwork saying such, but apparently that happened. He wasn't allowed to be in the room when the people were in there. And then they sold the old folks home off right quick. Oh. Okay. So town so gossip was... is town gossip. Please bear in mind, in a small town, yeah, uh, bad gossip, gossip spreads quickly. Uh, tele- you know, try telephone whispers, etc. You get what I mean. I don't. We don't know how true it is. I don't know if there's ever been any legalities of it mentioned, done, brought against him. Any police records? None of that. There's, as far as I know, there's no actual proof that happened all i know is what the person from that town has said so wow, that yeah that is really messed yeah, up though. gossip in a small town is brutal and this could just be complete and utter gossip he has done enough actually excuse me actually factual things that we know he has done that are bad enough so you know even if that isn't true, he's done enough bad things that we can fucking say he's a piece of shit for. So yeah, like I just still can't believe he didn't go to his own mother's funeral. The woman that stood up for him, that tried to help him, that raised him, that paid for basically fucking everything, you know, unless mm-hmm. you were stealing from Jerry's social security, like all that, all that shit, you know, and. You know what, Bill? I really feel like people like us, like we're not what they call hater nation. We we talk about some scumbags on the internet, but I feel like a lot of us are a cool community of like-minded people that just like to share different uh, opinions and all over the world. Like, you know, you are where you are. I'm in America. Mm-hmm. I got people talking to me in Australia, Puerto Rico. It's really cool to be able to do something like this. But, you know, I think we all can agree that is really messed up. And I'd be the first to say I'm not perfect. I have my own issues. And I feel bad for some people that are getting a lot of hate these days just because they were watching a community or being part of a community. I mean, if someone watches me, they are allowed to watch anybody. I am not the controller. You know what I mean? Like, I feel like that's really silly. Yeah, but this is really, I just don't know how a man who uh, cannot just go, you know, pay his last respects to his mother. I understand no. COVID and all that stuff, but from what you're saying, this ain't a COVID issue. And he left her in cold storage? So, a cult, a cult the morgue, you know? So, yeah, 
he didn't sort the body out nothing he left her at the funeral home for a week wow. and then the frost started to get involved with sorting out the funeral he wasn't doing anything and we don't know why well we can assume but you know it's just it's messed up like yeah, yeah. Like, i don't even know if to say like i don't even care if it sounds weak or you know to me uh or to the people who don't like me but i lo i love my mother i couldn't leave her in a cold storage for a, for a week no like, that, that is a long time especially it, when usually stuff like this can get done within a few days yeah it's like especially since like it's not like there was um all the extras that need to be done in certain cases of death do you get what i mean like oh yeah it could have been done so much nicer and quicker even over the christmas period you get what i mean like still could have been done better and like i'm not saying the frost didn't do their fucking best i don't want that to be a thought like the frost seemed to be a amazing amazing family they have put up with one shit for far too long and they genuinely do seem to care and try to do the right thing and i do have a lot of respect for them with that and how they've managed to go so long without like giving one a slap with a fish called reality i don't know oh no i agree like you know the, if like i said if it was my mom and i mean it sounds like she was their aunt like aunt alice uh because that's what it sounds like to me if if, if the brother was the mm -hmm. you know alice's whatever that's what it would be like you know in america i know you said like uh where you are it's a little bit different but um, with that it's i don't know why he wouldn't care to I don't know, like get her out. Like you said, like what what was he gonna do? Wait forever for her to get out of the uh <laughs> I don't, like, I, we don't I know what, don't his, know what his plan was. He uses this he, at the beginning he used this excuse of um oh well, you know, I've never had to plan a funeral, I don't know what you're meant to do, I never you don't they help you, you know. The if you don't know and when it happens, you can say to the hospital, like, look, I, I'm not sure what to do. Who should I call first? They will direct you who to call. And then the next person will help you and tell you what to do. People will guide oh, you sure. through this. Like, I've never had to plan a funeral, but I know that you've got to do certain things. Like, you've got to organize the body to be moved from the hospital to the it's funeral hard. home that you have picked to use and then you've got to organize with the funeral home what you want done and all this stuff and if it's been planned before ahead of time that makes everything so much smoother and things like that like you don't just sit there and twiddle your thumbs and expect everyone to reach out to you and do it all for you these these funeral homes know that you're going through a tough time so everything is so streamlined to make it easier for you uh, and even ooh, then, he couldn't do fuck all. Is that true? He hated his mom. And yo, Todd, if uh, mm -hmm. I think we're on Discord, if you want to come in, I know you've had a lot of experiences with uh, with Vaughn and uh, me and Bill. We played your uh, your uh, uh, disraps the yeah. other time the other day. They were great, Todd. I, I love um, your disraps. There's wow, he hated his customs in here, mm -hmm. and um, he. He knows so much more about all of this than me. Like I've said from the beginning, I don't know a lot. I'm very new to this. I'm very new to the Von Sphere. Same but here. like Paulie's customs, he has been about nigh on from day dot. So he is like one of the like experts in this. So if you if he wants to come on and you want to like you're okay giving him a link, I would recommend like yeah. Oh yeah, like, yeah. getting uh, him up because he knows that. Yeah, Paul said twelve years he's been doing uh, dealing with Vaughn. He knows everything. Like, yeah, I guess so. I, I would talk to him. Love I you, am bro. like simply a pleb in the world of Vaughn. What does that mean? Like a like a like a newbie type of thing? Uh, pleb is like 
servant, slave, etc. So it's saying I'm very low on the scale. He knew. It was... Yeah, like, you know, there's a yeah. lot of people here, like Mr. Unite for the Children, Guess Who, D. Higgins, Blue, uh, Todd. They, they come on my ch uh, channel all the time and they give me nothing but positivity. You know, these people to me, even though I never met them, they're like my best friends. And that's kind of like kind of mm -hmm. what happens. Like you just feel so close because no matter what's happened in your life, they've been nothing but supportive. He absolutely hated his mom. Wow. That's yeah. Awful, so God. he maintains now that he loved his mom, etc. And yeah, I sent you a link, I, I thought my time. mom hated me. I, I thought she hated me, but it was those goddamn frost twisting her ear. But he's outright said, I wish Ma died and my dad was alive today. I wish it was my mom that had died, not my dad, because my dad wouldn't no have let, my dad wouldn't have had the frost fuck with their head. My dad wouldn't have kicked Alice, uh, not Alice, sorry. My dad wouldn't have kicked Andrea off the property. My dad would have given me that double wide trailer and he would have taken the single wide. My dad wouldn't have let this happen. My dad wouldn't have let that happen, like, Complete, oh, like saying definitely. all this and wishing your mum had died instead when your mum is the one looking after you. Yeah. Wow. It, it's, it's it's awful. Hey, Paula, I think I talked to yeah. you uh, yesterday in the in the Grampy Lobster stream. Uh, yeah. If you want to come in, because you seem to know a lot more than I do. Uh, mm. I uh, look for me on Discord. I, I'll send you a, a link. My dad. <laughs> Let's see. Uh, but yeah, Todd, I, I sent you a link. And that's the thing. I know a lot of people know the whole Von Houten situation more than I do. And that's why it took me a long time to even speak about it. Because I wanted to give the respect about this. Like, you know, I needed to know a lot about Shani and Rev, for instance, before I even made a video about them. Because I know a lot of people have had problems uh, with them. Hey, Phil, mm -hmm. by the way, do you have like a two monitor setup or one? Yeah. Yeah. I've just, I've got a two monitor, but yeah, I've got it, the second one out. I don't normally always use it. My friend lent me an old laptop screen. So. Yeah, it works. <laughs> oh. yeah, you, were you playing a game before? No. Oh, maybe you just said you were. Well, you were on the on the Discord. I guess it comes on. Uh, yeah, playing a game. I just sent um Paulie a link for you. Yeah, that, in case he couldn't find you. I know they know a lot more than I do. And, you know, until recently, like, I just I just don't cover people just because, like, hey, for the clout and the views. Like, I literally cover if mm. they are hurting people, children, abusing, um, yeah. you know, elder abuse, all that stuff. And then when I saw the videos that you showed me, I'm like, yes, he needs to be covered. Even like, the past, present, future, he's done everything that I hate about a person. Yeah. So for me, Shani and Rev right, made bro. me start to want to make videos because I said in the stream I just did um, the Chris around Christmas video that they did. I just like I just reacted to. I had so many opinions and things I wanted to say about it, and I'm like, do you know what? Maybe maybe I'll do a channel. Maybe. And then it took me all the way until like August to actually do that shit. Well, You're doing great though, Bill. Like, I'm so proud of oh, you. You're like 215 you. subs. Like, oh, let's shit. go, Villa. Like, thank shit. You. You're going to be past me. Like, in, in a month, you're going to be past me. And I'd be like, hey, Villa, uh, remember I Draven here? <laughs> With your 2,000 subs? Remember this? Oh, small shit. I, I <laughs> don't. You're as much as I love everyone that subscribed to me, like, I'm not, I'm not in it for that. I'm just in it so I can, like, scream at the things that piss me off. Like, oh, yeah. With Vaughn, that pissed me off. My granddad died of a stroke. I've done a little bit of Vaughn stuff here and there, like clipped bits and stuff, but now I've got a laptop and that, and it just so happened when I started doing videos that the Vaughn shit kicked off. So yeah. I started stream sniping it because I, didn't, I wanted to give people the option of not giving him the view, and because... UK time works perfectly when he tries to do these early morning streams. I was like, well, fuck it. I'm about, I may as well. Yeah. Okay. And 
yeah, went from there. And obviously, I'm a gobby bitch that can't help but interject and shout my opinion at the screen. It but it's all valid. You're went not making up there. anything. Oh, yeah. But, like, for me, it was because, like, how Vaughn treated his mum in that pissed me off so badly. It wasn't, like, with you, it wasn't a case of, like, oh, yeah, Vaughn. Like, oh, yeah, that'll get them big numbers. It's yeah. like, my granddad died of a stroke, and that broke my heart. And the thought of him just leaving his mom like that on the floor after how I saw my granddad was from a stroke. Well, I didn't really know. What... That cut me deep, man. And I was like, no, fuck this, no. I didn't really know what it was that happened to Vaughn's mom. I, I didn't know if she was just... Mm. You know, felt like she needed to pass, like she needed to some air or something. So I didn't really know. But then, yeah, when I saw that, no, it was a stroke. I thought that was pretty, pretty messed up because, yeah, you know, he just left her there. And whether, you know, I, I can understand, like I said, I, I can uh, deprecate on myself all day. I don't think I'm the, the best person in the world, but I could never leave my mother on the floor, no. especially... 92 years old um also if my mother and my wife were having a fight i would get in the middle and be like hey you guys go lay down go smoke some pot <laughs> go 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 do something because yeah. this is not gonna happen and the fact that vaughn kind of egged that on we were talking about that yesterday in grampy lobster stream he just mm. kind of egged on for mouse to hit alice and you know, socked yeah. her in the face and he left. And basically I thought it was uh Andrea Mouse got sick of it, but no, it was Alice told Jerry uh this happened, and he told Alice, you need to kick Andrea out for your own personal safety. I didn't I didn't know that at the time. Jerry, you mean Larry? I, I'm sorry, yeah, I mean Larry. Yeah. So there's a Jerry so Jerry's, yeah, Jerry's his Jerry's kid, Larry's baby. I was yeah. like Wait, what? <laughs> yeah, I mean Larry. Yeah, Jerry's the one he took the social security from. Larry mm. is the Larry Frost. So she told yeah. Larry, and Larry was like, Aunt Alice, you need to get this woman out of your house because yeah. Ron is not going to. And you know what? You know, fuck him for letting her do that, not protecting his own mother. Mm -hmm. You know, because, yes, okay, Andrea, and you know, a lot of people got on me for that. Or not me, but they got on. Uh, uh, they got on uh, Grampy that uh, last night because we were saying that we weren't um, talking about Andrea's, you know, mental state in it. And you know what? She might have had a mental state like because she was like immensely a child. But still, I think that knowing that she has a mental awareness of a child, oh, yeah. don't laugh at that. And then, no, so Vaughn needed to have stopped it. Like Andrea does have like, basically the mental state of a kid and also she's like i can't i can't remember if she was medicated or not at the time because one would constantly mess with her medications and uh as with the mental state of a child they get qu quickly frustrated and they lash out because they can't vocalize they can't get that out so they lash out with a think that's what children do but she isn't a child she's an adult with the strength of an adult yeah and she could have really hurt alice like oh she did hurt alice but i mean really hurt like she could have put her in hospital for christ's sake and no, definitely laughed at that i was like ha, ha. that's what you get ma that's what you get like andrew's <laughs> her little fucking attack dog he can set on her whatever he likes no, that's like you don't. When they start shouting at you and it's starting to even look like it's going to escalate, you're like, right, look, no, stop, separate. You're not going to actually solve anything this way. Stop it. But of course, he's not going to do that. He's not going to be a real man, is he? Did you see this this uh, message here from Todd? It said Vaughn's yeah. dad was a door salesman who died penniless. Or Wow, I didn't know he was a door to door. Like I'm learning so much. And yesterday, you know, again on Grampy Stream, I saw a thing about uh hey, what's up, Trav from two? Um, I saw 
a picture or like a like a aerial shot from Google Earth of the uh, the Vaughn Estate, and you know what? It was pretty big, a lot bigger than I thought. You know, because when I'm when people are saying trailers and stuff, um, I'm thinking like it's it's a little place, a little part of a you know property in Kentucky. But I know even with my own grandmother, when my grandmother was alive, she had some money and she had a big, big house and she moved into a smaller condo that I stayed with her for a while because she just couldn't take care of it. You know what I mean? Like the upkeep yeah. with that is hard. So I can understand if Alice did have money, but she just wanted to be in a trailer. But hey, that trailer looks pretty. It was big looking. And they had so much property. Have you seen their property? Like an, an aerial oh, shot, they had so sorry. much. Sorry, um, Todd's done a quick thing. He wasn't oh. he wasn't a door to door salesman. He was a door salesman. He sold doors. Oh, <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh I yeah, guess. is that maybe maybe he sold door to door doors door. He was a door to door door. <laughs> he sold doors door to door. Salesman. <laughs> Went around looking at everyone whose doors looked a little bit ratty. And he was like, knock, knock. Yeah. Oh. You know, like I had a friend that sold security systems. And if if somebody wasn't home, he'd break into their house and put his brochure in their kitchen table. Be like, it looks like you could use a better security system. Oh, wow. <laughs> I know, right? I'm like, that's some ballsy shit. <laughs> But uh, Shit. can you imagine, like, yeah, your doors, I mean, I get that for my windows. People are like, hey, you want some new windows? But I get that a lot. Doors. <laughs> he sold doors door to door. <laughs> door to door door. But uh, I just feel like this is awful. And, you know, despite everything Vaughn has done, which a lot of it's awful, I could still say, because, you know, we're not above anyone here. Um. People grieve differently. You know what I mean, Villa? Like I've seen yeah. people laugh at what I why I keep calling weddings, but laugh at funerals, you know, because it's just sometimes things are just so horrific you mm. can't handle it. And I, I get that. But I'm also a person that shuts down and goes numb, right? Yeah. When my granddad died, I was upset, but I didn't once the shock was over that he had the stroke and everything and we knew he was going to die. When he did die, I, it's not like I cried or it was this thing, but I was numb. And I mean numb. Same with my nan when she died. I was numb. Nothing. And, like, even for me as someone that doesn't express their mourning with tears and all that, the way Vaughn is acting is weird because, like, I was numb it wasn't like i was crying but i wasn't doing anything it was more just sat there like now would vaughn talk to anybody like i see like some people will get in his chat because i would love to be like ask him some of these uh questions the solar sales people are bad around here oh yeah 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 they're always like, and you know, I probably solar is the best way to go if you've got the 10 grand to spend on it. Cause it, it, mm. you know, you'll just eventually get all that back by not paying and actually uh, getting money from the electric company, which is pretty good, but it's having that money up front. But uh, yeah, I, I would love to talk to Vaughn and ask him some of these questions, but I know he'll just, you know, he'll probably give me some bullshit. Well, some bullshit answer you have to be a sub like you have to be subscribed to his channel apparently now for two years before you can comment it was just three months now it's two years how would he even know that oh. thanks tatted uh how would oh. he even know uh how would he even know hey uh tatted do you want a link uh i'm sure you can talk to me about some von stuff mm -hmm. uh how would uh, Vaughn know if, if you've been with him for two years though? because it's just a setting you put on twitch oh oh on twitch you're saying i got you. yeah but um he does run a facebook it is simul streamed on facebook and twitch and i don't know if the facebook one has that as many like lockdowns he thinks it's safer because it's harder to get a
fake Facebook set up and it has to use your real name and all that. And no, it doesn't. Not really. But yeah, I don't, I'm not too sure about that. Like, yeah, I don't think Von's grieving. Like, that was my point. Even as me being someone that expresses it as numb, like, that just doesn't seem it. It doesn't seem right. Like, just shows he didn't actually care that she died to me at all. I don't think he cares. I reckon he is that glad that she's dead because he thinks now he gets all this money and it's going to be great. And finally, the frosts are going to be out of his hair and he can tell them to all fuck off and he can kick them all out and they're going to be homeless and it's going to be great and it's going to just be like the best day of his life. <laughs> And of course, and that's, that's not ridiculous. what's going to happen. He is in so much shit, so much shit. Um, yeah. Well, you know, and like I was trying to give Avon a chance, but uh, it sounds like yeah, you know, like I've, maybe he's even tried that. I like I've tried to, but like, yikes! I did with Shani and Rev. And... I've been working on a PC. Okay. <laughs> Oh, cool. I got you, Tad. Maybe, maybe later then. Uh, I, I know, I, I know. Uh, Frank's having some internet issues as well. Everyone's having some uh, internet. Maybe at oh, the end yeah. of the year, the, the internet company's like, "So, oh, you want yeah. uh, use your computer again? That's gonna be another twenty bucks." Oh well, yeah, at the end of the year is when they start doing all the internet deals. They're like, "Ah, oh, we're gonna throttle everyone's internet so they upgrade." <laughs> I don't, yeah. they, no, there's no evidence that they do do that, but you know. If I were a absolutely evil corporate millionaire in charge of internet, that's what I'd do. Just saying. I mean, a lot of these people that I've been talking to that have been watching Vaughn this whole 12 years, ever since he was on blog TV, they've told me, they've said, listen, he has never changed. He's been this piece of crap. But like mm -hmm. to just let his mom die like that without... You know, if he cared so, so much, you know, like, no wonder, um, no wonder his children were taken away, like, what, 13 times. And mm -hmm. that's what we were talking about yesterday. Is Vaughn going to get in trouble for uh, elder neglect, inadvertent elder neglect? Like, he didn't mean to neglect her, but because he's so whatever in his own little world, he neglected to call the uh, ambulance. But maybe because his children were taken away, they're going to say he's, you know, he's incompetent. He's like a child. It's but then an that'll established fall back on pattern the, of behavior. Yeah. But then that will fall back on the, the judge who took the children away in the first place and gave Vaughn medical, uh, medical say. But man, I bet if Alice knew what he'd do, she never would have gave him that. Mm. And I was really... Uh, uh, I was uh, confused about the camera situation because I thought if the Frost had cameras in the house, how do they not see, you know, Alice on the ground? But apparently because Vaughn said he didn't want cameras in her bedroom. Well, no, and... it's nothing to do with Vaughn saying that. Oh, no. It is. No, Vaughn never. Vaughn wasn't involved in that shit. So uh, Larry had a camera placed in the kitchen and the uh, living room area. You can't have okay. them in the bedroom and the bathroom for privacy reasons. Yeah. Like, it's not... It's not proper. It's not okay. Like, even at a school, there are cameras everywhere, but not in the bathrooms, not in the changing rooms. There is legalities to it. You cannot have them in areas where it can capture private parts yeah um, gotcha. and that's what the judge ruled on the living room and the kitchen area the two so it wasn't in the bedroom nothing like that like Vaughn thinks that they were put there because of um a break-in that hap that never happened but happened but cool. never happened <laughs> because it happened because someone broke in and stole the paperwork, which means if the paperwork, if there's any wills, they're apparent forgeries because the paperwork was stolen. You're talking and, about 
the uh, will paperwork, right? Yeah, but apparently there was no breaking because the cameras were asked to be put up because of a breaking that never happened, but they were asked to be put up for safety concerns. So if anything happened to Alice, we could they Larry could see and get help. But yeah, so no. We really don't know, like, okay, Vaughn walked by and let her stay on the floor. And then he kind of walked by again, right? And then let her stay by on the floor. And then the third time he passed, he decided to get off his lazy ass and call um uh call 911, right? Well, the Basically. story's changed. Apparently, one time he said he walked hey, past James. three times and he called on the fourth. And another one he said he walked by and called on the third time he got there. But then he's also said uh one in one that I caught him saying that he went to into the caravan at eight AM and checked on her and then we know the ambulance was called at nine oh five to nine ten AM. So that's a one hour window, right? Yes. And then he's also apparently said he went in earlier and there's a three hour window. And he's now saying that there was only a window of a couple of minutes between each time because he was he fed the dogs in between. And there are a lot of dogs as well, bear in mind. But his How story many? was he was, oh, God, I don't know. One of them's Midnight's just had a litter. Another dog okay. had a litter. Well, not not just. It's like a month or so now. And you said he's killed a couple by inadvertently giving them chocolate, even though people said. Oh no Don't no no no! Them. He's not killed them. He gives midnight chocolate, even though people oh. warn him chocolate is bad. It's poisonous. It can kill a dog. Hey Corgi. Um, but Speaking dogs have dogs. died <laughs> due to his negligence because he doesn't look after them properly, and they've walked off into the road and got run over. Who canceled you, Corky? You let you let big old Draven know. I, I will make sure you're uncanceled. Um, you know what, Phil? I was just gonna say you said something very insightful the other day. Um, you said, "Don't trust a man that will treat their mother like shit." Right? Did mm. you say that the other day? And yeah. you're, you're you're so right because if they're gonna treat their own mother like that, what do you, what do you think they're gonna treat you like? You know, I've met so many of these meth head guys out there that are just pieces of shit to women because they have mom issues, whether their moms mm -hmm. were too strict on them. I and mean, you know what? A parent for 18 years, they have to do the best they can with you. After 18 years, you, they don't have to deal with you. So when someone's 30 years old crying about someone, you know, sold all their hats to make ends meet or sold their little toys, it's like you're 30 or, you know, like it's just, when people are over the age of 18, they cry about the mom had to show them how to be a kid or how I to have be an so adult. many questions. <laughs> oh, well, there's just like I, I just see so many people crying on, on, on the yeah, internet. Just a hundred hats. What? Who needs a hundred hats? Why? And why right? do they have a hundred hats at their mom's house? I had a friend that had like 50 really good quality ones. Uh, Trying to scam people for 7k again, really? Oh, send me that. Send me that, James. Uh, if you have it. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, because I was gonna play this. Uh well, you know, I knew a friend mm -hmm. that had they they would go to that store called Lids and get custom. Never heard oh. of it. Hey, Todd. Hello, everybody. Hi, Todd. How are you doing? Todd, it's been a it's been a while. Yeah, it's been a little Merry bit. Merry Christmas, happy early new year. You're Todd, you look good. Hey, Thank you. Look at this craggly. Look at that. Yeah. Todd's amazing. Look what he got me. What? Yeah, I wanted, yeah, wanted to see something on stream what from is the old that? wish list. It is a skull pen pot. I now have a place to oh. keep my pens that are bones. Look. Just what, in case. Pen? Put on stream, look. Skull? I have oh. a spine in case what? I need to give someone a backbone. Are you... Whoa, I have some God. leg bones in case I need to give someone a leg to stand on. <laughs> <laughs> nice. See, folks, when you have good content and you create an Amazon wish list, people who enjoy your content <laughs> might give you gifts. 
Yeah, I got, I got to make an Amazon wish list. Yeah, you, you are too awesome, Todd. Todd, I miss you, bro. I remember we used to do those streams all the time with Rumor? They oh, yeah, fun. yeah. It's been a bit. I, I, I've been working 55, 60 hours a week lately. Oh, shit. Knocking it out, yeah. You'd think it'd slow down around the holidays, but a lot of no, police so cars and uh, fire trucks to fix. I, I, I'm the parts manager for the city motor pool. Mm. I get all the parts for all the cop cars and the fire trucks and trash trucks and all those emergency Taxi vehicles. Taxi cabs. Yeah, and then we've got a motor wow. pool with all sorts of vehicles for city employees. You know, just just a lot of work. And but Todd, does that mean uh, if someone, uh, if the cops, if they want to sell one of their old cop cars, you can actually buy one? Be one uh, of the first people to. That's a whole different area. I just I just get parts to fix the active vehicles. That's cool. What you got there? You got was that a vape? Oh yeah, it's my, my little vape, my little mod. Oh, uh, what shock? So this is the uh, smoke zero zero. I think yeah. No, no, zero is the little mm. round ones. This is a Nova, a smoke oh. no, Novo 3. There you go. Is it good? Yeah. It's, it, they're nice. cheap. Um, you just put juice in the pod, the refillable pods. And what kind of juice do you like? I, this one is, uh, I like fruity ones. This one's a slushy man. You can see it's a mm. uh, pomegranate and strawberry flavor with some menthol in there. Mm. You know, I was a menthol smoker for years and years, so I, I like my menthol stuff. Ah. It's like cough drops, you know. <laughs> oh, oh so when I did vape, there was this lovely chocolate fudge brownie flavor mm -hmm. vape that I used to get. It was so nice. So, Todd, let me ask you. You've been uh, watching Von Houten for a long time, right, bro? For a while. Yeah, five, six years. Somewhere in there. Okay, so you saw a lot of this stuff go down. It was yeah. only yesterday that I found out that Andrea, aka Mouse, she punched, um, uh, she punched a crib, trying to sh be uh, have her baby be quiet, ah. but missed the baby and hit the crib. Yeah, and showed her wrist yeah. on the internet or something. Yeah. yeah, that's true. That's true. That's a true story. I, yeah. think she, I think they even took her to the hospital thinking she had broken her wrist, as I recall. Yeah, she Why thought she, she broke her wrist. Yeah. Was how old was the child? Oh, this was when they were baby and just babies. She just Why she couldn't she, handle the crying children. You pick them she, up. Yeah, she she didn't, no, she didn't Von, know anything about caring for babies. No, and Vaughn Vaughn has said he believes in cry it out, you don't pick them up because it spoils them. You just leave them in the cot. You don't pick them up when you're feeding them or none of that. You yeah. just leave them and let them cry. And, of course, the children need to be picked up and loved. They need to know the parent is there to look after yeah. them and protect them. They cry okay. to go, help me, help me. It's because they're wet, they're hungry, or they need that attention to know that they've right. not been left for the predators to come fucking eat them. And remember, Von why... Helton, oh, sorry, Von Helton convinced her that uh, not to feed the children after nine o'clock so that they would sleep through the night and they wouldn't have uh, diapers, wet diapers. So he quit giving them oh. any, any liquids after nine until the six in the morning or so. That's fucking horrible. Yeah. And Vaughn convinced yeah. her that, yeah, that's just the way you do it so they don't pee in the night. You don't have to get up. Crazy. Yeah, Vaughn, the man that's never had a child before, like no clue how to be a parent, giving parenting advice Agreed. and against what cps are saying and the uh health worker is saying when she's actually coming over to talk to them because what do they know kill that troll the troll bots are getting bad all the yeah. channels are just getting crazy so i see troll, one I just, the troll bots that post that basque tech and Neo yeah, I don't know said, what the fuck this is. They're, they're troll bots are all over YouTube. It's crazy. Yeah, I I just have to block them all the time. Uh, everyone, Todd, are you are you a mod? I'm yeah, yeah, sure. I, I got that last one. Okay, because I, yeah, I, 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 I always forget. Yeah, Villa. Uh, yeah, that would be my tip from a slightly bigger YouTuber to a YouTuber that's probably going to pass me in a month. <laughs> make <laughs> sure, make sure that you mod people you know like you you feel like all right you're cool because you really need people there like i'll watch my videos again and i'll read the chat and there's so much stuff that goes past me because i'm doing this and i'm, I'm yeah, reading yeah. and i'm trying to do both at the same time but yeah i yeah, love my mods i can't do this without them and todd thanks for any time you came in and like yo <laughs> get yeah, out of here because some oh, people yeah. are really crazy 
Um, but yeah, I appreciate that. No, I've got that. a few good mods so far. Like, and they've been well helpful. I've even had them be like, look, calm down, we're here. Because I've gone to block it, and James will tell me, like, don't, I'm here, I, I will block them for you, it's fine. I'm like, okay. <laughs> like, sorry. Yeah, because sometimes so, it's sometimes yeah. it's like that. All right. Yeah. So uh, yeah, right before I came on, you guys were talking about uh, grieving. And I've seen some folks saying, well, Vaughn's just, you know, he's in shock. He does, it hasn't hit him yet. And he's, that's why he's singing it. No, 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 no. He, he hates that woman or hated that woman. Mm. He, he is yeah. happy she's gone. This is, there's not a weird <laughs> grieving thing going on here. He's happy she's gone. I was just trying to make sense of the senseless and, you know, because I'm really, I'm not a person who just hates people. I don't hate anybody, you know? And you don't want to, you don't want to think that someone could be so heartless and callous. Like, no, even (laughs) someone that's cynical, there's a few things and you like, you, you would want to hope you want to find an excuse to be like, no, they're not that evil. They, I know they're bad, but they couldn't be that evil. Right. No, he, he is that evil. Can, like, yeah. And I give the benefit of the doubt to fucking everyone, and I'm saying that he is that evil. Okay. Oh, well, here's Vaughn's thing that uh, uh, that he just sent, James just sent me, so about Vaughn asking for money. Oh, yeah. Yeah, upon the closed caption. Orange oh, show. They're, they're prom Orange sites shows. that uh, they're people trying to give us things to. Uh, hey James. Yes. Oaks. And Oaks. so uh thank you. Um Um so just a little clarification James buddy. Uh you just sent me this, right? Uh which one is this? Uh this is the one where he's asking for the 7k. Yeah, this was the original money one. Um he came out with the story that he needed 7k for his mother's opening and closing I think it is, which we suspected was opening of the grave and filling it in once the, the funeral was done. He claimed everything else was paid. Um, the second one is a couple of days later, he ended up in a stream where a few people, including Dragnot, claimed oh, he needed the money. Um, Drag went yeah. and called the funeral home, which I can't yes. find the clip right now. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Oh, okay. So, so this is so. So this first one is just fun asking for for money. So this this thing on the top right, this little uh, looks like a bug with four feet. Is that the uh, Nats Nats in the pizza? That, that is Nats in the pizza. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So everyone Nats subscribe to Nats. Pizza is amazing. Subscribe okay. to Nats in the pizza. Yes, because <laughs> uh, you know, at the crypt, I if I use someone's stuff, I don't ever try to use it without at least shouting them out. If I can't actually ask them if I can use it, that's cool. <laughs> but anyway. Um, so yeah, yeah, you know, and it, 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 it is like I said, I have to, you know, I got three little kids out there and, and I want them to see that their daddy is strong and can handle this matter and uh, all that good shit. So he's like, he, Bobby, thinks, uh, he thinks his kids watch his streams. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. He actually thinks see. his children watch his streams that the, uh, foster family are going to sit them down in front of his streams every day and be like, all right, it's time to see daddy. Come on, sit down on the widescreen TV. Come on. <laughs> and they're like, on, how old? Like you. 10 years old? Uh, yeah, the, 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 the twins are 11 and Layla's 12, if I'm correct. Maybe 13 and 12. But uh, you know who does watch his <laughs> streams? Kentucky, uh, Clay County CPS. Ah, mm-hmm. good for all. That's good. And what's up with all the bling that Vaughn kind of puts? Like, <sighs> who, who knows? Because he's seen fur? other streamers do it, and it looks like well good. So like he's like, oh my god, I'm gonna do exactly what like they do, and I'm gonna have some bling on my microphone because it's like what the, all the proper people do. Yeah, we hey, were talking to Cyborg about it the other day, and uh, <laughs> he was talking about the fact that even the slightest bit of weight pulls the microphone <laughs> down, which is probably why he constantly adjusts it. Yeah. Um, so yeah, Slim was saying those ones. It's the one that's got all the elastic things suspending it in the air. Yeah. And it's meant to make it so it stabilizes it so the microphone doesn't move if you knock it or touch it. But yeah, having yeah. all that hanging off it messes it's, with the stabilization of the it, making point. it yeah. pointless. We're right where that bird is, it's just screwing up everything. Uh, Todd, real yeah. quick, before I play uh-huh. it again, uh, I'll, 
his the chair he's sitting in and this whole setup and i don't know what kind of mic this is i've never seen a mic like this before this is all bought and paid for by uh the money he stole from his mom the, yeah the 30 grand that he, he took from alice no doubt about oh, it that's 30. a cheap 30 quid microphone off amazon yeah i thought it was 70 where did the 70 come from no, he, he took about 30 and she still had about 30 left oh gotcha gotcha okay yeah so but, you know, how did he do we know how he took the 30 he took advantage of her because she wasn't quite all there and went down to the bank and yeah i think, I think he may have initially him taken her be. with him and got oh. uh got on the account yeah that's he had what had, I he had access to it yeah apparently she was having a fairly lucid day where she was still manipulatable but she was reasonable yeah. to talk to so he put her in the car and took her to the bank and got her to withdraw the money right and that, that's when the frost moved in and yes. saw what he was doing and, and got executorship at that point. From my understanding, oh. he was actually charged with that and he was ordered by a judge to pay the money back, which he's yep. never done. Which he's never done. <laughs> oh, it's, he was he's ordered anyway. by a judge to pay that 30 grand back. He was. <laughs> what, Villa? Yo. Hey, there it is. Where'd you get that? Amazon. How much is that? This bucks? one? That's a, is that a Sure brand? S H U R E? Oh, no, oh, this is 28 pounds, 28 P. But mm -hmm. 38, 37 but, dollars. Uh, yeah, but that's the thing. They're all one same base one. Brands just stamp their logo on it and then sell it. And on Amazon, it's rife with that. Yeah. This is where I tell people, Bill uh, investigates like the FBI. 29, 29 quid, so add 10, 15 on to make it dollars. Mm, about 40 bucks. Pound. That's with me just okay, so shit. couple yeah. of seconds. Oh. I can yeah, find, yeah, probably that's... find the outright logo of it and find the same matching hand he's got. Maybe he got a different arm and bought them separately, in which case the arm separately is, say, £15 for me. And then the microphone would be, again, £15 on its own. Yeah, because uh, Todd, if that was a sure mic, it'd be a hundred bucks plus. Yeah, I think it's probably a, it looks like a sure, but it's probably a rip off of one Chinese. Oh copy. yeah, that they have a daddy that's strong and not weak. And, uh, so that because it's important, because kids kids need to know that their daddy has got shit under control. Yeah. Uh, he didn't even tell the kids she was dead. Wow. He waited Do you till think you go to fucking Christmas Eve. Eve. Christmas Eve on his Skype call with his children. You all right, kids? How are you doing? We're good, Daddy. How are you? Oh, I'm good. Nan's dead. We're going to get that money now. What? Pay Daddy's that dead. big Kentucky Daddy's inheritance dead. tax. Yeah. Well, to be fair, the children just abused her. Just, just were monsters with her. Oh, they did too. I don't see. Yeah. I don't know. This. Yeah, but this they is why learn it from Von you on. and Andrea. They, like they're not. They're gonna learn how to treat her by the way they see her treated. Exactly and they're right. children. They cannot be held responsible for that. If they're also not disciplined and told not to do it, they mm. think it's okay. Now they're older. I'm sure they feel shit for it. Yeah. Oh, oh yeah. Well, oh, you know, imagine them. Imagine them in that trailer hearing all day that that bitch this and that bitch did this to me and that. And that. how do you think the kids are going to react to her? Yeah. Oh, it was, they were awful to her. Well. Vaughn was mentally abusing them. Shit. I did. I did not know that. So Todd, this back here is that the stupid fucking airplane he's been working on? And that's, maybe yeah, that the there is his. Foam. Yeah, the phone. Maybe He's that's his way to up. cope with this. Like I said, I'm, I'm trying to find the human. I know I'm dumb. I always try to find the human in people. The you know what I mean, like the the the, the soul. But mm. someone like him, I don't think it's there. <laughs> but I'm so naive, man. I always feel like there's got to be good in, in everyone, you know. And it's so um, it's so awful, just what he did to his kids, what he did to his mom. But yeah, I'll keep playing. Um. Wow, that's a good question. It depends on how I feel, obviously. I mean, some people... How you feel? Some people are so emotionally distraught, they can't go to a pier. <laughs> so not your own the ground. Ground. I doubt that, but uh, I don't know. I, to be honest, I, I really don't. Shit. It all depends on how I feel, you know? I mean, I could be just fine now, and, you know, when the time of the funeral comes, I could totally break down and totally lose my shit. 
Is he making what, the, the planes? I don't know, Todd, has he been making the planes? Yeah, he, over he's there? trying, he thinks it's going to be a business really making these foam planes. Not trying to play up. eBay. I really don't know. Wow. You can get them for like $3 really at any hobby list. shop. Oh, no, he's claiming that he can sell them for like 10 billion dollars or something like that. And I looked it up on eBay, and the most expensive professionally built one that I could find was 350 And they are, his builds are yeah. shit. They are not straight lines. They are so jagged. So, like, when he cuts them, they're like this along it. So, like, that, <laughs> they've got, like, this sort of staggered, like, it, it, it effect to them. Then gotcha. there's so much glue on them that they're so much heavier than they should be. And because there's so much extra glue, there's more glue on one side than the other, weighing it down unevenly, which means it won't fly straight because it's not level. It, it's so bad. I'm an amateur. I know fuck all about planes. And even I can see this isn't right. Now, remember, Von Helton won awards for uh, for paper and tape airplanes back in the day. He, he That's what awards. he claims? Yeah. There was not a paper and tape category. Yeah, not to mention the fact they invented the <laughs> stealth bomber, so that should be easy for them. <laughs> yeah, Sticky, oh, I'm God. like a... I got uh, Big Bear Syndrome. I think... Uh, Todd, you probably can relate with this. Like, I'm like 6'3", but I'm the biggest, like, you know, I feel, like, you know, I feel for people, for things, you know, try to see the, the, the human side and things. It's so weird. Like, the biggest guys I've ever met have had the biggest hearts. It's like, because we have to. People think we're an opposing force, but it's just like, you know, it's like uh, Lenny, right? You know what I'm talking about? That story, Lenny, yeah. you know, <laughs> it really is. Yeah. For myself. Okay. okay. The bed. Oh, wow. So there. There we go. Good. Oh, he made her a bed? Good. Wow. Good. Yo, he a, is. It's an interesting he theory. Gonna... Yo, Vaughn's pretty fat. I mean, you know, I know we all gained some weight from the pandemic and everything, but oh. Oh. He. <laughs> That's a great ass right there, Vaughn. Let me tell you. <laughs> he didn't look that big when he's sitting <laughs> down, you know, but wow. Yeah, so look, if because you want every... to be bougie, look, Ooh. Ooh. soundboard, bougie. microphone, the same uh, stabilizer, mic stabilizer, and this the same gold mic, right? Yeah, how mm -hmm. much? Got all the cables. That one is forty-five pounds ninety-nine pence. So that would be like sixty odd dollars. Yeah. Uh, and that's being bougie, but that's also not the same red <laughs> scissor stand. The scissor stand I found, as I said, uh, fucking. Oh, yeah, fifteen Dying twenty that was taken from me. On that's its own. Eight. 15 20 quid is a red one on its own. Oh, yeah, that's right. The red one that is but that you exactly what have you got one in a set that just happened to be red. It just depends what they're selling. And also, this is on UK Amazon. I'd have to set it up different, like I'd have to get on the internet to set it up for on American. American Amazon. And I'm sure I get so many more results. So, but that's how easy get... it is. It's not expensive, it is cheap. It's not. You would get Amazing. even more results if you look it up on Kentucky Amazon. <laughs> Kentucky Amazon. <laughs> Amazon Wildcat Amazon. I'm surprised Vaughn was able to put that together because I have one of those stands for my uh, HyperX mic. And I had to put like a bunch of shit in there just to make sure it was stable. Like really, it, it boggles the mind how Vaughn could be such a lazy shit on a lot of stuff like taking care of his mother. But really be really good about like – you know, hooking up a microphone, but his uh, camera quality is still like, I don't know, is this still like an, an egg microphone or camera yeah, it's, from it's like a cheap Walmart cam? Cheap one from like 2010. Yeah. yeah. I'm wanting to get a camera because I'm on my laptop one or yeah. I use my phone, but my laptop one is a wide angle camera. It looks good. You know what? If you feel it's all right, light. but it's a thing because it's a wide angle one, it Do makes you, you look bigger than you are. Uh, I've got a ring light. Yeah, I just haven't bothered to set it up today. Yeah. I use a ring light and another light. So I, I use two lights. You need one for like left and right and then have it so it's facing down. 
those are just tricks okay. to trade. You know, you, you you know, the more videos you make, the more you'll you know, they'll just pick these yeah. things up. It's gonna be returned to me by force. Ooh, it'll wow. all come back to me. And it'll not only all come back to me, but it'll come back to me threefold. Ooh, oh, fuck you've, you. you've lost some money and, and, and they're going through some hard times and stuff, your mom. Uh let's see. How can I answer this without I, I things are oh, going on, Star Dog, and I, I don't want to say any more, but I will say it was told to me. Uh, the Star Dog sure. in the Discord. What? The Star Dog in the Discord. Yes. Uh is he? Uh yeah, yeah because stuff is happening. Yeah. That ass Corgi. Corgi, how could Miss Hussey hey, say that Star they Dog. were gonna cancel you? Things are Corgi's happening, good things are happening, <laughs> everything's great. We cannot say more because we cannot interfere with shit. Uh so yeah. Yeah, the but, last thing we want is this to turn into another Raven Shani where everybody who felt the need to contact authorities and it just buried the case. Yeah. So we, we cannot say more than what we can say, and we've said what we can say, unfortunately. Yeah. I'm sorry. Paul, you know, Anne is just making some uh <laughs> great Anne, thanks. Now I'm staring at her shoulders. <laughs> See, this is what happens, but Todd, is is she right? Is this is this some a, a shoulder pad here? Uh that's possible. I mean I don't remember jerseys having shoulder pads in them. But... No. There uh, is a scene there. Would any of you look at it past Vaughn and stuff something under his shirt to try and make himself look more muscular? Because okay. I wouldn't have put it past him. Yeah, me neither, bro. But there way. is oh, a uh, seam it. there on a the top, isn't there? So it could just be the fact that this is pulled up and he's hunched over and the way everything is, it's making it... It's because it doesn't fit properly, that top. And it's at a weird angle. Oh. And it... I don't know. Yeah, well, I'm gonna play. So I'm gonna grab a drink real quick. So I'm gonna play. Mm. I'm gonna play. I know what someone's talking to Vaughn. I, I still can't believe he didn't go to his own mother's funeral. Yeah, it's gonna get real tough for you shit. soon, unless you got some yep. kind of I income don't. package set I up don't. through the government. All I got, all I got, is the gods of the creation. That's all I got. <laughs> Do you have uh, any income? Well, you don't even have to answer this. No, Do you I have, have any either. income at all, Vaughn? I mean, welfare no. or no, anything? No, I don't have anything. I don't have anything. Wow. They've stripped me of everything, dude. They stripped me of everything. What do you think all this shit's about? It's about so that they can take his property. That's exactly what it's about. That's what it's been about from day one. Man. They want this property. And that's why that that's why all this shit's been happening. So that they can steal okay. this property from me. See, they can't just oh, come in and take you know they don't though. They don't want anything yeah. of yours, though. But they could. That's the Wait, thing. Like, no. and I hope the frost do get them. Those that thing and and say, Vaughn, you gotta pay rent or get the fuck out. No, no, they're gonna kick him and they're gonna liquidate it. Probably gonna have to. Todd, on that yeah. note, can I please, please, please ask you to make a cover of the sad song for the Incredible Hulk? Because there's already <laughs> the people talking about getting drone footage of Vaughn walking down the road. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 Todd, you, let me know if you need some guitar in that. It's like a photo thing to me. You could use the original <laughs> music and just put his face on, on Bruce Banner there. Well, <laughs> Draven just said he'll do the guitar for you for it, so it wouldn't even be yeah, yeah. a copyright yeah. issue. Yeah, we could just do our own thing, man. Because mm -hmm. uh, I'm down. I'm, I was thinking about writing some some stuff, <laughs> you know, because yeah. Todd, you get pretty good. I mean, you're pretty fast with your your rap skills. I, yeah. I was surprised when I get a bug I was in my shocked. Butt, I, can, I can knock them out pretty quick. But but damn, bro! Like I was like, oh, I, I can hear what you're saying. You're saying it really quick. Like when you were just saying all that about mouse and everything. Oh yeah, yeah, so the, the double time verse. Yeah. Oh she was no, Star Dog. The funeral's already happened. T today, right? Like, yeah, yeah. It, it's yeah. happened. It's finished. It's over. It's done. He didn't go. What Vaughn was claiming at one point is that he didn't want to let the the frost win, which is why he wasn't going to go to the funeral. But after what? the funeral was finished, he was going to go up to the the grave site, pay his respects privately. Mm -hmm. I don't believe it's that. Right, that. Right, he doesn't have respect to give. Did well, not like the way. And that. Yeah, definitely. The frost seemed. I don't know them, 
but they sound like good people that were just trying mm -hmm. to help out, you know, their aunt out. Some property. They have to run me off of it. The only way they can get this property is to run me off of it. Well, I'm not Let's get our pitch I'm not going anywhere. Go the news about what's I happening. I need to go to the mainstream news. I, 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 I contacted the mainstream news mm -hmm. about oh, some things. I sure did. Uh, but I never heard back from anyone. Yeah. From you got to remember, Vaughn, they're scared of getting sued. I got to go. No, what I got to do is I got to go knock on their door and meet them face to face so that they can't ignore oh, me. So they can but ignore he didn't even do that. They can ignore snail mail. No, they can ignore phone talk. calls. You got to go yeah. and pound on their fucking door. And then when you pound on their door, then they can't, then they can't ignore you then. There yes, are jobs can. out there. And I'm yeah. telling you, Vaughn, I honestly he think. walks off. You can't depend on the gods this <laughs> time, guy. You can't. Vaughn is so big. I didn't realize how big. Like, you know, he just gets up and walks away. Yeah, the, 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 like you know, like a caveman. <laughs> and, and remember, he's like five three, five four. Yeah, Max, he's no better. He's I'm not taller a tall than man. him. So he's, I'm he's taller than him. Five, Holy yeah, shit! He's, wow. he's down there. Yeah, he's not tall. <laughs> That was at Holy one point in time Bond's claim to fame because he claimed that he'd originally been cast as Wolverine instead of Hugh Jackman. <laughs> yeah, what? Right, right. Yeah, I could see his bathroom. This is so weird. Does he ever like pause the stream and just go back there? No. Oh, this no, is another chair. This there is was a, a rather, there was a rather famous stream that was done with the the camera at this this view, and apparently people know because of the layout that the the bath the toilet must be on the left, I think. And Thanks, Stardock. There's a sink on the right, if I remember correctly. It's one way or the other. We'll put it that way. Oh, and people okay. have said that he went back there with a coffee pot and he filled the the coffee pot from the toilet. Yeah, toilet water, coffee. Yep. yep. <laughs> Yo, Todd, I'm noticing this is a Marvel uh, chair. <laughs> uh, Spider-Man? Is it's, that what it's, it's saying? It's red. It's, the lighting's so bad it's hard to see, but it's a red like gaming chair. That's it, a gaming yeah, chair. it says Marvel, Marvel on branded. it. Yeah, yeah but yeah, that, that was not cheap. No, no, those chairs are awful. I had a cha I had a gaming chair. I gave it to my kids. I and I got a regular computer chair that's so much more comfortable. Because these things are just, you know, racing chairs belong in racing cars. <laughs> I don't think they're going to be able to come through unless you hit the lottery or something. I mean, realistically. Yeah, hold on. So, how are we getting this? Angle. So, does Vaughn have multiple cameras in his yeah. house? That yes. Two. He's got his real high mounted up in the yeah, yeah. In the corner by the ceiling. So they're so motion perfect. activated. So, like when he leaves his room, he can go in here and keep talking. Don't think he usually has both up, but I suspect yeah. that time he switched it on a delay of some kind. Yeah, he and, switches it and stuff. He yeah. also has um. Like a computer setup of like three to four screens. Like he it's could have three. sold, mm -hmm. yeah, three. Oh. He could have sold just one of those screens and had the money to afford petrol to get up to go see Ma before she died. Yeah, well, and people don't even get a lot for them. Yeah, people, people offered people to give offered him money. Even Larry Frost, yeah, Miss Parker, Frost, yeah. Trying to call him, and if he had answered his phone, Larry was going to say to him, "I will either drive you or give you the money to drive yourself." Yeah. Miss Parker offered an Uber. Larry offered the money. Well, does Yvonne drive? Because I don't know. Yeah, the truck's out there. Yeah. He can drive. He I drives. Mean, Mar Helton yeah. owns the truck, but he drives it. He probably can, yeah. Now, when he's in this room, how does he speak? Is there a, another microphone around somewhere, like in on the ceiling or something? Yeah, apparently, because we hear him yeah, pretty must well. must be somewhere. Yeah, well, that's why, you know, because I know how this shit works. Like, I could put yeah. a mic anywhere, and, unless it's the camera like I know some cameras, like my the camera that I use has a mic built into it, so it could be that. But yeah, because I'm watching, I'm just like, you know, how did we get this angle all of a sudden? <laughs> Do you really uh, think the gods are the one are going to give you enough money to live off of? I mean, uh, you've got to really no, think thanks, about John. what I'm saying oh. to you right now, dude. <laughs> and I'm saying it to you as a friend, man. Uh, I don't see it happening, Bon, and I I, I hope I don't upset you here. I, yeah, just don't, I just don't. You're entitled see to your opinion. <laughs> well, I'm mean, entitled to your opinion, but we'll I, see what happens. So I just think it. that way, Vaughn, because I know how the economy is right now, and I know how things are going for people, and I just think I'm well that, aware of that. Yeah, I just think that now that Mom's gone, 
you've only got to come up with so much money a month to keep your, you know, your electric going, your food. Yeah, why is he staring into the camera like, like some weirdo? Like again, I can, I, I can don't see know. the grieving process. I know I keep saying that. <laughs> I, I know I should stop, but like seriously, like. It's but, fucking creepy, isn't it? God, isn't this what he did all the time? Whether yeah. he, someone, a loved one was passed or not? Pretty much. The only grieving he's doing is for himself. Yeah. Yeah. Because I saw sorry. those videos. Because he, he knows it's coming. He knows yeah. it's coming. He knows he can't I saw those, electric. those videos where he was like, I'm this, this is my house. This is my truck. And with his telling his mom, mom, tell them this is my house. This is my truck. I feel like he thought for a while that this was going to come down the pipeline, you know, like you're saying. Yeah. Yeah. He knew. Mm. Yeah, that's true. You that's know, true. I do. It's not that much. Oh, but okay. If you can work from home. Thanks. You save a shitload of money in mm. gas insurance and all that, you know? So I thought it was a good idea working from home. Is it possible that you can make 500 bucks a week? Maybe the people that stole all the money from me, right, if they gave back every dime of money that was stolen from me, I would be just fine. I know that I would Vaughn, be just fine. Listen, I mean, do you just, think uh, that's gonna yeah, happen? He's still fine. No, of course, folks. That's, that's, that's not what face. he asked. <laughs> yeah, do we know who he's talking to? Sola Marshall. Oh, yeah, it's Sola oh, Marshall. So it's okay, cool. Thanks, Phila. But yeah, this that's is the right. face of somebody who's just fine, so you know. Yeah, I didn't make a meme. I'm just fine. <laughs> <laughs> of course fine. not. This That's why fine. I have to rely on the gods. That's why I have to rely on the gods. <laughs> Let's theoretically right think about something here, Vaughn. Next month comes around and your mom's not around to pay the I electric agree. bill. Is there an account that you have where you have money in it that you can pay it? <laughs> and I well, can't pay it. It's that simple. Oh. I love how like Vaughn just can't just like he must have ADD or ADHD to like the hundredth level because he can't even talk without uh doing something else or, or maybe this is his brain saying this is too much for him even his brain's like dude I, I can't right now do something else you know what I mean like, yeah. I, I took a lot of psychology in college and I've seen this type of behavior and they would say if the brain can't handle this these questions he can pretend all he wants, but your body can't. Your body yeah. will have a yeah. cutoff point. I and think you're just... 100% right in that one because we've seen Vaughn over the years be laser focused on that camera to the point oh, yeah. where, I mean, you've seen yourself, the videos that you've probably seen by this time, like when he was shouting and screaming at Andrea, eh, the camera, sorry, and Andrea's in the bed next to him and he's just trying to say, I'm trying to sleep. And he just does not care. That camera is everything he cares about. He knows his world's crumbling. Yeah, and he, he, you were talking about like his nervous tics. He's always yeah. had those nervous tics, the, the hands, the hairs, just always something going on with him. I've noticed the touching of the hair a lot, like Fabio, like I said yeah. before. That's so, what it reminded me of. In like body language things, there are certain tells. So there's when you lie, you self soothe because lying, it, you, when you lie, it's not a nice feeling. So you do self-soothing, and that's like the rubbing the hands together. It's a protective movement like that, things like that. When he's messing with like his hair, he's, yeah, yeah. he's preening or self-soothing. And um, it's like preening, it's like you want to make yourself look presentable. You want a good facade for the out of the world. The fact that he looks like shit doesn't matter. That's yeah. not always the point. It's the... Presentation. Answer saying, it's, it's okay. Like, you're okay. Yeah. Everything's so all right. You can't help these subtle ticks with your body. No. It is really difficult to get it trained out of you. That's why people go for um like press training before they have these interviews or things like that. So they learn to suppress them. And um he does a lot of the self-soothing gestures with it and everything, and like Sometimes it's glee, but other times it is a yeah, mm -hmm, yeah. He's trying to convince himself. He's yeah, trying yeah. to. Yep. But he's not so, doing a very good job. Yeah. The, the no. best tell, the best tell that Vaughn is lying is he's talking. Yeah, yeah he's pretty yeah. much. <laughs> gotcha. That's when you know. I, I listen. I'm at the point where I don't give a flying fuck about anyone or anything. The only thing I care about is that the gods do care about me. 
The gods? Were they gods. don't. Why Vaughn's, do you always say that? What, what does that even Vaughn mean? Has a be- so, Vaughn claims to have a belief that he has his own gods of creation that he does not name because it would be rude. So everything yeah, so, that he's talking about the gods is his yeah. gods. Vaughn claims to be pagan. He says he's a eclectic pagan. Mm-hmm. And the gods of creation, all creation, have singled him out. They love him. They care about him. They do everything for him. The thing is, it's bullshit. He claims to be an eclectic pagan because eclectic paganism is kind of a pick and mix. You pick and choose what aspects within paganism that you like, that work for what you want, and you use them. That's fine. That is a normal, acceptable practice within eclectic paganism, right? However, he utilizes that so he can say, no, no, no. It's not that I'm wrong. It's my eclectic paganism. I'm just different to you. My paganism is different to your paganism. The reason he doesn't use the gods' names, he says, is because, well, the gods don't have human names, do they? Because they're not human. Without guessing wow. that, the gods <laughs> gave us humans their names. We didn't pull them out of our butt. Well, we did, but they gave them to us. So we use them. That is their name. It's not like we created it. And he doesn't actually use the names because, again, if he uses them, the people that are actually pagan can say, you're wrong. That's not right. That's not normal. He doesn't so understand paganism. So he makes it very paganism. vague. Kind yes, of what was Shinya and Rev do. Yes. Deliver like, I am vague pagan. I've, yeah, I've been pagan for 50, no, longer now. 17 years now, I have been a practicing pagan. I started okay. to get into paganism though, from the age of nine. And I actually took on paganism as my belief set at the age of 15. So I've been in this world for a very long time. And I went from being very hardcore to militant to now I'm way more chill, like way, way more chill about it. And um, Ron's only been pagan for a handful of years. He doesn't understand anything about it at all and it is quite infuriating down to the things where he says like um sacrifice and he talks about sacrifice like sacrificing to the gods is all and always just human sacrifice or animal sacrifice and you don't sacrifice anything to the gods they don't want it you don't do this you don't do that like to him you don't do nothing for the gods they just do for you Sacrifice is giving about. something up for them to say, like, look, here is a gift to you to say thank you. It, it, uh, it's infuriating as like being as into paganism I've been for so long. The fact that he just doesn't get it and lies about it does upset me. Well, no, I'm sure someone who actually is this religion. Oh. I know that a lot of uh, Catholicism and Christianity was brought by paganism from that mm-hmm. guy that was kind of had set, you know had all those like 12 13 wives and one was a pagan one was jewish one was a witch one was this one was that he kind of mm-hmm. put them all into uh you know all the different religions today like you know christmas is kind of a pagan holiday and so mm-hmm. is uh uh easter it was esther or something like that. Yeah. So I know that a lot of stuff has been mixed around, but uh, it's good to hear from an actual real oh, yeah. one that says, no, I'm offended by what this guy's trying well, to call himself. Completely. And for me, it's we get called crazy okay. enough. We yeah. get laughed at enough. We have the, all the problems enough when the, it's just the same person like me, right? Yeah. Let alone when you've got the crystal crunching crackpot like Vaughn, banging on like this shit, talking about delusional fucking shit. And it's like, you're like those people that claim that they can tell someone's future by looking at a fucking picture of them online. You're like those people that say, yeah, rub a crystal on your forehead and your cancer will go away. They're the people that fuck us normal, as normal as we can motherfucking be, I guess. But yeah. Normal ones off because we don't think that and we hate people like that representing our ethos because that's not it. That's not it. That really isn't it at all. They will see a way. 
They well, made their way the for me thus just, far. The These them. people, every motherfucker on the goddamn internet has done their level best to try to fucking destroy my life. And yet um, here I still am, Solar. You know why I'm still here? I'm not here necessarily because I'm an intelligent person, which I am. I'm here because the gods literally made a way for me to still be here. Because well, I'm, this is not my first rodeo with this. You don't think these fuckers have tried to destroy my computers and destroy my, my livelihood before? Of course they have. Yeah. And the gods always managed to make a way for me to get through it. And they're going to make a way for me to get through this, too, because every fucking dime that was taken from me is going to be returned to me by force. Okay. It'll all come back to me. And it'll not only all come back to me, but it'll come back to me threefold. Watch oh, it happen. Awesome. Well, I didn't mean to bring up. I was just <clears throat> concerned about your situation. That's all. I'm not okay. concerned about it. Everyone. Hey, everyone the way, on the internet. Very narcissistic. The one, very... are going to see me through this. But, oh, well, okay. you don't serve the gods. What have you done for the gods? What have you done for your deities? The gods don't, in all religions, the gods don't just give you shit. They're not just like, yeah, I know you've not given us any, even a kind word. You've really not done nothing for us, but here, have everything. You're meant to show devotion. You're meant to show that you care about them something and also the gods hate uh, idleness i think it is in like the viking sagas i can't remember excuse me what one it is um something sax sac oh i can't remember it's latin um it says like ba like basically it says um the gods cannot bestow you a good harvest, a bountiful harvest, if you don't sow the seeds. The gods oh, can't plant the seeds for you to give you an amazing harvest. You have to plant the seeds yourself for that to happen. Yeah. You have so this... to put some work in to get something out. And he is asking for a bountiful harvest without planting seeds. The gods hate idleness. They do not abide yeah. idleness because they. Why would they help you if you won't help yourself? Star talk is that a, a joint like a J. <laughs> uh, like a J. Hey, J, uh, James. Uh, this next one. This is about the funeral expenses and all that. Fifty-six thousand. That's what he wanted. Yeah. Sorry. Hold on a second. I've actually oh, sent no. the wrong video there. Um, this I've just dropped it in the private chat. This is actually okay. the right video where he starts talking about. Um, he's got seven grand to pay on the funeral. This okay, is, what is I've got a list of videos that I've been sending back and forth in between like Vila and people that have been asking and stuff like that. So I, I yeah. grabbed the wrong link. No, uh, the 56. Yeah, Sorry. what's that other one about? Uh, the 56,000 56, is what yeah. he thinks he's owed in back child support. Oh, and we believe he's banging on about Andrea, who Vaughn yeah. thinks is in a mental asylum because she's so crazy yeah. that she cannot be left alone. Oops. She's not. <laughs> yeah, like she's yeah. not. She's out of that mental asylum. She wasn't in there. She hasn't been in there for years. She was never properly in a mental asylum. As far as I know, she was in a woman's shelter. You're talking about and, Mouse? Um, yeah, yeah, Mouse. Mouse. And she's been out there for ages. She's actually at college. She's been working away at college. I think she's doing That's a good. course now, do, getting all herself sorted out. And she's about to do a driving test. So oh, she's passed the theory and she's about to do the proper exam. She is doing amazing for herself now. She's not with Vaughn. She is thriving. Yeah, that so, was actually one of the funniest round points. Round of applause for Mouse. That was one of the funniest points of the stream the other day because Mouse actually joined the stream. And <laughs> Vaughn turned around. Yeah. But, Vaughn had turned around and said, oh, how are you doing? Are you, did they let you have a phone in the mental ward? And she's like, I haven't been in the mental ward since you didn't, wouldn't they let me have my drugs eight years ago. Yeah, yeah it was it was amazing. Yeah. <laughs> and then he was Do like, it. what? And he went throwing a stream hand. He's like, oh, well, well, if you ask me, I think you shouldn't be, uh, you should be watched 24-7. No one listened to him. So he came back and interrupted and was like, well, if you ask me, no one asked you, Vaughn. No one asked you. 
I never heard of a star dog weed. Is that a is that a sativa? Um, hey, uh, Todd, didn't uh in that stream or or Todd or James in in, in that stream didn't uh Mouse actually say she was sorry she was a bad mother? Yeah, yeah she said bad she wife. Was, sorry, I could have been a better wife to you. Oh, he got and that's shit, unfortunate. Yeah. yeah. She, he needed well, to, to have been a better husband to her. To be fair, she was very young and she was very naive and experienced and yeah. a little, little incapacitated up there. So, yeah, she yeah. wasn't the ideal wife for anyone at that time in her life. But Vaughn, she was 19, Vaughn exploited right? that. Yeah, he exploited definitely. that for sure. Yes, oh, she was yeah, nineteen with the mental age of a young teenager, right. if that. Like. And he expected her to be like the dutiful wife, barefoot and pregnant, mm. doing everything to his beck and will. I but bet even his child. mother didn't act like that to her husband, and he was expecting some like Victorian shit. You know, it is beyond me. You know, I agree with you, Todd. He definitely exploited that. The only reason why he was with her, 19, he knew he could manipulate her. I mean, he already did by saying his trailer was safer when the world's going to end all this bullshit. Of course, he mm. exploited the fuck out of that. So I am glad that she got a little frisky on the uh, Greyhound bus. <laughs> yeah, of I course mean, she did. Von, she was young. Yeah. Vaughn used to say she's a nymphomaniac. She, she wants sex oh, every wow. day. And then he would get upset that she was flirting around with other men. So, you know, take it or leave it, Vaughn. <laughs> yeah. You know, I was going to ask, uh, is she okay with being called uh, mouse if it's derogatory to her i don't want to say anything that's derogatory if she, if she doesn't like that nickname i'm saying I, w I wouldn't call her mouse to her to her if you were, yeah i'd just call her andrea well, i thought yeah, i thought andrea. we thought it was just a nickname andrea, yeah yeah i thought it was a nickname as well i don't know though yeah, if who came up nickname. with it did Bas Bonk basically fo that? no folks in the google hangouts and it's because of her personality she was very oh. timid Oh, Aww. okay. Yeah. Oh, so so it's not necessarily Andrea. a negative thing, then. No, no, it's just she was timid and shy and yeah. like a mouse, you know, timid like a mouse. Oh, and, and very, well, that's sweet. Mice are cute. Well, Mice are yeah. adorable. <laughs> yeah, that's where that came from. Oh, I like it's come from something that. nice, at least, uh, and not like mean or yeah, outright yeah. negative connotation. It, it was never meant, it was wow. never meant to make fun of her. <clears> yeah, look look at this Coke ring. <laughs> Those are like one of the rings you put drugs in. Oh, I mean, that's no, I know a definitely not flash one. ring. Yeah, no, that's a Viking compass ring. Oh, okay. Again, off Amazon. Let me show you. I'll get that in a second. <laughs> Carry on. Off Amazon. Yeah. Uh, the the funeral home and cemetery are wanting seven thousand dollars to bury my mother. You guys can hear that. Why right? so much? Yep, I do not know me. because everything's supposed to have been paid for. Straight <laughs> out. I just oh, he'd be cleaning himself <laughs> out. Called him. Mm-hmm. Everything's already paid for. Boo! What? That was drag. How did she get into a That's it? There it is, yeah. Yeah, like how much? Damn, that one. First one has. I found, that's saying like 13 to 19 pounds, but yeah, like there's one 13 bucks. 50 let's see, 13 You could probably get it off eBay for cheaper for like a tenner to a couple of quid it depends where he got it but you can get them for dead cheap you'll have to help me what's the relationship between quid and pounds same thing they're the same oh, thing just quid and same. Okay. yeah um yeah like uh when i was in europe like 20 years ago i was in amsterdam and they had had uh uh euros and i'm sure that's totally different the, the money exchange between that that I just know the our American dollar Todd is the shit. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah. But uh I I love this. Everyone everyone's gotta like and come to this stream and subscribe because Villa here will just debunk everything Von shows. <laughs> all, all his blink will be yeah. debunked. Careers <laughs> with the very oh, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry wrong, James. You're I'm gonna, gonna say hammer something? it home. James, were you gonna say something, bro? Oh no, sorry, I was looking at something there and I just sort of went, oh, Oh, gotcha. She wasn't. Sort of she wasn't. But see, the thing about it, everything, everything on my mom's funeral was paid off. Okay. It was all paid off. But the thing of it is, is that, you know, they're saying that I still owe for the open and close, that I still owe for uh, uh, interest. It's show and, proof. You know, because everything, you know, it's been so, it's been so long since it's been paid for that everything. Yeah. This, this dude, yeah, he, he could just show receipts. Yeah. 
when you pay no, for something in the past, it's still paid for. Yeah, they're contractually obliged to honor the amount it was paid for unless it's written in the contract and in which case it says uh x amount like it will literally say and it's very rare that will be written into it anyway like here's the real issue i have with all of this that's going on here at this point vaughn still i assume thought the uh, funeral was going to be in ohio because that's his father's funeral was in ohio in hamilton Mm. and and he was buried right there near at the same service, you know, they had the funeral and then they drove to the, the cemetery and yeah, yeah, had him buried. Yeah. So what funeral home was he talking about? The one in Ohio or the one there in Manchester? Well, why did Alice get, because they got, because the mother and father were divorced. So she yeah. got buried with her family type of thing. But we, the thing is the, the place mm-hmm. in, in Hamilton, the headstone for urban senior has Alice on the headstone. So I'm assuming oh. that's what would have been paid for since her name's on the headstone. Yeah, I mean, you would assume that plot has been designated paid for, for her. Yeah, yeah. yeah there's, so there's been a bit of talk about that lately because what they're saying is that apparently there was a, originally a plan for uh, Alice to be buried in Ohio, and since then she she built, well, since then she built a life in Kentucky. She's then surrounded yeah. by the family of Kentucky, and the, she made the decision while she was right. still competent that she wanted to be buried in Kentucky when the time yeah. came. Yeah, so we, the plan yeah. changed. We learned from Marsha last night that she went up to this hill, the Helton Cemetery, put a headstone where she wanted to be buried next to her best friend from childhood. Yeah, that was so right. All that. Yeah. Apparently Vaughn knew none of this because he still thought she was going to be buried with his dad. You're talking about on the Discord yesterday, right? Last night? Yeah, the, the when the yeah. Frost were, were talking and, and some of the side chat and secular stream. Yeah. They're, oh, that was great. I was she in put there her headstone up there. Oh, okay. That's good so to know. Alice yeah, made, I was Alice in there made for these arrangements. Yeah, hearing that. Um, well, as someone who was who was at a funeral, unfortunately, around uh, last year, uh, I have a family plot. So if I choose to be, I can go into the family plot. Has a uh, a different last name, but uh, it it is a family plot with a certain yeah. amount of plots. But I, I guess um, what I'm getting at here is who. Von Helton says the funeral home t- told him another 7,000. What funeral yeah. home is he talking about? The Ohio one. Yeah. That's yeah and he either. was lying. He you was lying. There was no $7,000. Right. It was pulled out his ass. Well, yeah, yeah, I mean, there's Most, actually been a bit of discussion about that because apparently people have dug into it and it, it, to have Alice transported to Ohio would have cost between five and six thousand. Yeah. And there's That's suspicion true. that he might have said that he was going to transport her and then use the extra money to go. But there's also the, the thing that this is Vaughn and we know what he's like. So even if he was planning to transport Alice, we think he might have added some extra on for himself. Well, yeah, I would not put it past seven. him. The reason he didn't want to claim get Alice's body, mm-hmm. he was hoping he could wait for her to be deemed as uh, an abandoned corpse, cremated and put in a box storage somewhere in the corner and pocket the, get a refund on the funerary expenses and be like, oh, look, we're not having you buried with her. Can I get, a, can we get the money back? Blah, blah, blah. Trying to do that or pocket the 7,000. Yeah. Wouldn't put it past him. I wouldn't. Yeah. yeah. But like as someone who actually, you know, I bury a family member. Um, we had a plot set up. We all we had mm. to come up with was ten thousand. So I don't know where he got where he gets seven thousand from. And ten thousand is just the uh I guess the uh you know, like you said, Todd, having the people come and the you know, the mm. the coffin layout and all that, and then yeah. bring in the undertaker driving driving it to the cemetery and putting it in. Yeah. For most people, that's a life insurance kind of thing that usually happens. And I assume Alice probably had some sort of life insurance having oh, been a businesswoman. So this was if probably had, taken care of a long time ago. If she had an estate, definitely, bro. Yeah. Thing has skyrocketed in price since then. And I have to pay Maybe. the difference. I mean, they done me the same way. They did my dad the same way. What? They, they did him the same way. way. This is not surprising to me. When did he die? Yeah, his dad in Ohio? <laughs> but they, they did him the same way? Did he yeah, have how a funeral? Is that? What, what is he talking about? They did him the same way. 
if, in my opinion, he's obviously trying to set up for a future scam, but he's able to turn around and say, my buddy always paid for, but now because of the inflation, mine's is short now. I need help to pay off my funeral because it's not going to be long. They did me the same way. What What is he talking about? When did he have a funeral? I, he's just saying word salad. He's not yeah, saying this is with lying. Make any sense. Cool. <laughs> to me that they come up with a gotcha. Um, yeah, that doesn't surprise me. They did me the same way on my burial plot. I was not caught what? by surprise on this. Now, I was caught by surprise by what? the amount. So he's got a burial plot. plot. But how did they do him the same way? He hasn't used it yet. What is he talking about? So he thinks he's going to be buried in Ohio when he but, passes. But he, type of thing? he said did. They did me the yeah. same way. So let, let me, maybe, let me go back benefit of the doubt, maybe when he called up the Ohio burial spot and talked about Alice's one, he inquired about his one and they said there would, yes, there would be an outstanding balance. Maybe giving him the benefit of the doubt, I don't, but again, I doubt it, but it that is a that is a logical theory, but I don't know. That's well, I'm gonna listen. I'm gonna I play don't it again. even believe he called them. No, I don't either. No, if he called them, they're like, What are you talking about? You no, no, at first, he know. says, Oh, 1500 bucks, you know. For okay, so because first he says 1500, okay, and granted, you're saying he's talking about Ohio, the, the Ohio yeah, plot, yeah, 1500. Yeah. They open and close. I'm like, Well, shit, okay, you know, yeah, that's a then, he, then he whips out the seven grand, and it's like, Oh, who's whipping out a seven grand? But again, why would they tell him this if the Frost already set this up at another spot? It's all made up. It's got to be. Well, I can't he believe can call whatever that. funeral parlor he likes. Another person can call whatever funeral parlor they like. Yeah. Five five funerary companies can turn yeah. up to the morgue to all try and collect that body. But at the end of the day, it depends who the person has agreed the body to be signed off to that can collect it. Ten people can pay ten different funeral companies and they all turn up. Only one is leaving with that body. The only one that is legally given care of the corpse. So he could have called them. He could have organized all this and it had been for nothing. And he, he never shows proof of anything, right? No. Yeah, he never. He didn't do anything. No. Like I said, everything was paid off. But you see, it was, it was paid off so many years ago. And everything yeah, has but, increased in price. That, oh, but, to, bullshit. That everything increased... Matter. Yeah, if it pays for a service, up. yes, they're not, right. they're not holding your money and now they have to pay for it. You paid so for listen, a your mom picked X coffin X many years ago. That coffin has an increase in value, it's decreased in value because it's old, it's not the new coffin now, it's not the it's not the dog's bollocks, it's not the, this shiny, amazing one that everyone wants. She bought it, it's been ready for her since then. It's not the new coffin. It's the old one. It's decreased in value. She has requested old, now old stock. Oh, it stayed the same price because they bought lips. new nice things. And I bet like, if you wanted to not have a service, like say you just wanted to just bury her and be done with it, it would be a lot cheaper. Yeah. Because yeah. you don't have to do yeah. a service. They could just Alice take it right had to a the open coffin. That costs a lot. Because the person has to do all the sorting out Makeup. of the face. They have to inject things in their face to fill them out, to uh, make, actually do makeup, to make their skin look human. Mm -hmm. An open coffin is very expensive because a lot of work goes into making the body look like a person and not a corpse. Yeah, presentable. So I that's got expensive. You. And then there's renting the room that they have it all done in having the staff there there's insurances to worry about all that um there's the coffin do, oh, it, it's expensive for doing all that and then the moving and burying and again more worrying about insurance because you've got people carrying a body that's heavy you've got the car to worry about then you've got to have the machine to dig the hole if you're worried yeah. about expenses with the funeral get cremated it is cheap. Yeah. It is way cheaper than all of that. Yep. And also, coffin. Are you having a wicker coffin? Or are you having a proper, bougie, beautiful, 
like mahogany wood one yeah. with gold on the sides gold and trim, like yeah. red velvet on the inside and beautiful but beautiful thing it all depends on that so it could be really expensive to dirt cheap how can he ask people for money if he didn't even attend i mean this exactly. is the thing that really bothers yep. me the fucking asshole didn't even attend his own mother's funeral and he was asking for money did, did, did he have a GoFundMe, or was he just like, hey, do you, he uh, can you give me some money? One. He threatened that during the live stream that he was going to open a GoFundMe, but he said that nobody was going to uh, put in there unless he got help for the trolls. Yeah. But you know what? It's it's interesting that the only money that was offered, like you said, Todd, Miss Parker was offered to give him, drive him there. Yeah. And you know what? She's like, here, you want money? Here's money for you to attend. You piece of shit. No, but, uh, did, I think above that. If it was calling the funeral home and donating money to the funeral home, I would have even called and donated something. I've not got a lot of money, yeah. but I would have donated a little because yeah. I do believe that people should have dignity in death. Yeah. And I yeah. hate the thought of Alice being left in the fucking morgue drawer, mm -hmm. cold, alone, naked. She already died fucking cold and alone. And leaving yeah. her like, no, she deserves dignity and death. And I would have donated and I would have fucking shielded that on my lives to say, look, call out the funeral home, donate. Vaughn doesn't get a look in on this. Yeah. And, and that, you know, that, came up. that came up and Vaughn said, no, okay. you have to give it to me or yeah. they'll yeah. just keep the, they'll just keep the money. And we just said, it's like, no, free we donation. won't do it. We're not going to do that. Yeah. You can't try to say, Nobody no, would do it. it has to go through me. So if you do it, to, if you just give money to the funeral parlor, they'll just take it. They'll just take it. They'll be like, <laughs> oh, thank you. That's a lovely gift. We're going to have it. Mm -hmm. That's not how it works. Multiple people mm -hmm. always, there's so many times when multiple people chip in for a funeral. People oh, yeah. donate money time. to a funeral parlor to say, look, this is for mm -hmm. families that need money to pay for their funeral debt they Especially now, actually just you know? donate money to a funeral parlor to be nice to random ass families they don't uh, the funeral parlor doesn't pocket the money hmm. like i don't know what he's on about oh, no. no he just makes shit up Todd, yeah. i don't know if you watched grampy lobster stream last night there was a lot of people saying like well you know alice wasn't the greatest person in the world alice would be and get into people's faces and attack <laughs> them but alice was maybe eight in her 80s at the time and yeah. she died at yeah. 92 if an 80 year old would got in my face i'd be like it's okay here yeah. sit down <laughs> you know? well, I'm, I'm very sorry ma'am yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, let me get, i'm, I'm, it's sorry, like, I I'm so you. sorry for whatever i did to make you upset exactly. please how can yeah. i make it better i'll make you all the cups of tea in the world i'll she go get you all dude. the biscuits <laughs> i'm so sorry please not, not please bon. i'm sorry not bon no, not yeah. his kids piece of shit form a dime because everything was paid off but that's not what they're claiming they're claiming that because it was paid off so many years ago that the cost has increased the you know Bullshit. all the all the prices have went way up and that i gotta pay the difference well, okay the first i have step, no clue the first step is to talk to your oh that, there's miss parker right <laughs> yep i could tell hey, look she's telling them like you know this is what you gotta do i mean look at him i, I can't believe this guy it doesn't take any medications mm -hmm. or drugs like you know, know right? people say natural high. Yeah, he's twitchy wow. like a meth head. He's oh, yeah. like I've been, meth head. I've been banned from Streamlabs by this point. What? I've been banned from the Streamlabs twice by this point, I think. Because I was originally in there with uh Vaughn and Miss Parker and everyone. Oh yeah. And um he oh, kicked me and then yeah, yeah, he kicked me, yeah. and then Jay Dubs was banning everyone. Like, he was just in the back banning everyone for no reason. Yo, does this name stand for, like, Jewish Dubs or something no, like that? No, he's had Jay Dubs for years before he even converted oh. to Judaism. Um, oh, okay. I honestly don't I didn't know. know. I've heard about this guy. Yeah, he just lays down while Vaughn's talking His to him. His name's John. Oh. J stands for John, I'd imagine. He's trying to oh, be like okay. Jay Money, Jay Dubs. Well, are you going uh, to start? Yeah. I don't know like, why, no, why not. did you get banned though, Villa? I mean, really, what were you oh, doing? I was so trollish. I wasn't mean. I was me. Yeah, I did not put up with his bullshit, but I was not mean to him. Yeah, Villa I just him, pulled him off. I asked, he asked, are you on my Christmas. side or not? And I said, I'm on no one's side. I'm on no one's side. 
and asked him like well look try like hammered home to like Vaughn you said on the stream I watched you went in to your mum's at eight the mountain dew. and <laughs> the ambulance was called at nine so that's an hour and he's like no it wasn't hour. I'm like yeah but Vaughn that's what you said I'm not quoting anyone else but you hey, oh well, then I must have been mistaken and then because I was and then went off on one and then said that's where we got he was out feeding the dogs oh i got in you, this yeah. because that and i came back in and like on another one i'm like no Vaughn, i wasn't accusing you i was asking because this is what you said on the stream i watched that's all i'm just trying to get clarification and then me and miss parker get, were having a go at him about another thing they get they get so mad because they know they're saying bullshit, and when you call them on mm. it they'll just be like ban that person <laughs> Like that would be your first step. Go to the funeral home and Merry you need to sit down Rachel. and find out what her policy is, how mm -hmm. much is actually owed, mm -hmm. what kind of payment plan you can arrange. If mm -hmm. you uh, there's even options where you can yeah, um, right. just kind of downsize <laughs> the funeral. If she got a package that paid for something that's a little more expensive, you can right. bring it down Ms. and Parker's get maybe the him. cheaper casket Ooh. and help to negotiate those prices. But that's what yeah. you're going to have to do. It's it's right. it's feet on the ground. Vomit well, unfortunately, time. that's in Ohio, so I'm going to have a <laughs> see. see? I mean, if, if you so he up until what up until today he thought this shit was going down in mm -hmm. Ohio. I don't think he Last did. Night, I, think he set this, I think he set this all up so he could act shocked and angry when they, he found out the Frost were having the funeral there. I really well, Why would he think it's happening in Ohio with the, where his divorced father is? Like, they're not married. Yeah. His own he doesn't, accept the, <laughs> he doesn't uh, accept the divorce. He doesn't accept the divorce. He's like, my mommy, wow. my mommy loved my daddy. There was the damn Frost that put it all in her head. Yeah. My <laughs> mommy loved my daddy. This is my the thing, dealer, because it was spoken about on the last Secular Opinion stream when they had the Frost on, and they were saying that it wasn't a relationship breakdown divorce, it was a financial divorce. Mm -hmm. It was more money for them to be divorced. Mm -hmm. Yeah, except he was oh. having affairs. I did except for that little bit of it. That's true. They had him sleeping around. I'm sure Mrs. Parker can help you. Oh. You know, you two can get on, on three-way uh, with the funeral home, and then we all can sort of uh, figure out what to do from there because I'm pretty sure they'll take people's money. Like they want to get this yeah. stuff paid for. They'll take they people's pay money, but it out. has to. Listen, I know, I know here it comes. sounds like uh, you know, old Von Hilton is just being controlling. No, you I'm are. not. You are. The, the <laughs> funeral home is not going to have. You know, if you want to send them money, they'll take it, but they're not going to put it towards mom. They'll oh, they'll just God. say, hey, it's free will donation. Thanks, guys. Well, Bye. I, I don't. No, that's not what they do. Free will. If you say this is for this. The Helton family, they're not going to say it's free free will donation. Who, yeah, who that would be that? fraud. Yeah, I mean, I can't imagine funerals <laughs> working that, that puts that people in jail. Yeah, right? like I say, That's I can't imagine big. funerals working that differently in America. But I mean, if in Scotland here, if we were to donate to a, a funeral and it was, even if it was to go over the, the value of the, the funeral, whatever would be left would end up going into a bar exactly. afterwards. Exactly though, I, I, he's so he's mm. so damn ridiculous. It's it's hard to even well, believe yeah. he's like this ridiculous. I was gonna say I'm gonna head off in a second, okay? Because I've gone over the time that I was gonna go. Okay, but I just sure. The other thing, one thirty in the morning for you? <laughs> no, yeah. it's three thirty. Three thirty. Oh, I yeah, I know, right? I said I'd be gone by two thirty, so I've done a naughty. Yeah. Well, the thank other you. thing that was big that. I just remembered from this stream, and that's when I got kicked out. Miss Parker got to stay. Obviously, he likes Miss Parker. He like does proper fancy her. Ooh. Yes. Um, Von oh, said that anyone would have left their mum on the floor, <laughs> and no. me and Miss Parker flipped. We're like, no, like, no. And he's like, oh no, don't lie. You're lying. Anyone would have left her on the floor. Anyone would have done it. You would have left them on the floor. You wouldn't have like done. No, that that he's either outright delusional or he's kidding himself. Because like, who would do that? He thinks anyone would leave their elderly mother on the floor. They wouldn't think, no. oh, let's get her up off the floor. Me and Miss Parker were trying to explain to him like, but you see how it's bad. I was trying to explain to him like, you do see how bad it looks. Yeah. 
that you left her on the floor, that you've admitted you didn't pick her up and you just left her on the floor. The stroke aside, the fact that you left her on the floor. Just left her there. And then he said, anyone would have. And me and Miss Parker were trying to explain to him, like, no, no one, yeah. no one would have. He thinks we're lying. Well, no, it's true. No one, no one, no self-respecting yeah. person who's ever loved their mother would ever leave the woman on the floor. Unfortunately, uh -huh. we will never know what yeah. actually happened in that trailer because he, argument, sorry. he's changed his story so many times. Yeah, he and has. And it wasn't on argument, camera, right? Yeah, no. the only argument I'd make with that is he knows exactly that it's wrong. But if he admits that he knows it's wrong, then he can't be playing the sympathy card for him to try and pull whatever scam he's going to do. Or naivety for any impending court issues. Yeah, there's that as well. If he, yeah. if he maintains he genuinely thinks that that is normal behaviour, then it's hard to say. But if he goes, yeah, you're right, that's oh. not normal, it's saying, look, right. he knows that's not normal behaviour. He knows that that is abnormal. Yeah. Well, in true Vaughn fashion, he's he told on himself, as he always does, because he said both that she slurred her speech and that she wouldn't wake up. Well, people oh, that won't did. wake up don't speak. Well, he also right. said that she was a bit droopy. Yeah. As but well, wake like, up. it's bad. So, and yeah. her, he also said her state had declined in between checking on her. Well, he'd seen the last time he saw her from... 6 30 the, the evening before watching the news. That's the last time he saw her. We don't yeah, know how and... long she was up. Well, no we know oh. she went to bed at midnight because oh. Larry says he saw her go to bed at midnight, which he says that's very late for an elderly person. Mm -hmm. yeah, and right, then next old. thing we know, Larry's saying the cameras were unplugged and didn't work. And Ron is saying she's had a stroke and she was found on the floor and there's all these issues, etc., and so forth. So, so she could have fallen out of the bed at 12.01. She yeah. could have fallen before she got in that bed that night. He could have seen her going to walk to the bedroom and she could have just gone... Yeah. Like a sack of tape. Oh, oh, Larry and would have, no Larry would have heard that thump. Larry would have heard yeah. a loud noise. It's oh, God, yeah, because Larry's not allowed to motherfucking sleep. Yeah, God help so, him. Uh, how, so. dare Dairy, how dare he? How dare he sleep? never done that before. If Alice never, you know, is not prone to falling down, I especially would check it out. Yeah. But uh, thanks, uh, he Villa. He thinks that she should have been awake all night to make sure Alice didn't mm -hmm. fall. Apparently. That makes... Mm. Mm. Anyway, I'm gonna go now before I end up staying for the rest of the whole, like yeah. <laughs> Thanks for staying right. as, as much as long as you did. Uh I appreciate right. you. Mm. Everyone subscribe to Villa if you haven't. She's an awesome person. Oh, thank you. That yeah, that's not my link. <laughs> that Frederick. <laughs> no, no, no. Here, God uh, damn bots. I don't need I bots it. telling me what porn Here, to watch. I know what got porn it. I want to watch. Thank you very much. <laughs> All right. Thanks good for night, everyone. Good Have night, a good night. Good night. Good night. Have a good night. All right, let's. I'll play this, and I'll wonder. Yeah, if they do that, that's that's a that's a big legal issue for them. It has to come through me. Right, they have to be out of business pretty quickly at that point. They have to know. They have to know that it's coming through me, though. See, there's nothing. There's nothing to understand. They want seven thousand dollars. There's nothing to understand. They want seven thousand dollars to make this shit happen. That's what they want. Now I could start a GoFundMe. I can start a GoFundMe right now, but they ain't nobody going to give no money. GoFundMe to pay for the, I just put a GoFundMe out there to, you know, uh, for funeral expenses for my mom. I mean, people oh, do here it all the goes. time. Vaughn, look at the, the side chat. Um, if that's a real Larry Frost, then is that the correct funeral home? Yo, is that you, James? No, um, that's another YouTuber called Mr. NPC, who's yeah. another person who's followed Vaughn for years and years, who surprisingly enough actually lives in the same area as me. So, Ooh. oh, yeah, because so he's like, she's not at the Ohio funeral home. Look <laughs> at that. Oh, that is great. Like, yes. hey, dude, yes. stop they the don't bullshit. Know about it. Yeah, basically, face. what happened here is that uh, I think it was Larry was in the, the back chat because by this time, the the stream link was everywhere. It had been shared yeah. far and wide by this time. And Larry had gotten into the background chat and he was sitting in the chat trying to message to get in and Vaughn was trying his best to ignore it. And Mr. NPC had was checking the chat and he saw, so he asked mm -hmm. Vaughn specifically, is that the real Larry Frost? Oh, this is great. Huh? Yeah. 
Huh? No, I haven't. Uh, looked at the, the, the private chat. The private chat. Sorry, the private chat. Oh, the private chat. Oh. Streamyards. Yeah. Yeah. So if that's the real Larry Frost Senior, then if that's the correct funeral home, then I'm guessing that is the real Larry. I don't know. Let me see. Up. Oh, you know. Um. Uh. Uh, I don't see the name of the funeral home in the private chat. Where do you see that at? I don't see the name of the funeral um, home in the private chat. Yeah, it's, 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 come on. <laughs> like, I don't know him, and I got to say he's he's bullshitting right now. You know, like, I don't see it. You don't see it? <laughs> no. Yeah, yeah. You're, this you're is a man who knows he's caught. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I just, I just typed it in the side chat, Bond. Does it start with the letter B? Uh, well, that's the funeral home, yeah. Okay. Well, <laughs> Vaughn, I can, oh, I can yeah. go, the one in Ohio. I can, I can contact is the Rose Hill uh, burial Park. place, and I can mute, and I can find out if we all can, you know, donate directly, and we can, you know, we can get it, you know, settled. At least an idea. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Now we know he was it's a really quick conversation. Would you want me to do that? Uh, do what you want, but I tell you, you're just wasting your money because if it ain't through me, they're not, they're not going to put it towards mom at all. I okay. know you think I'm crazy, but I ain't. Well, no, I, I didn't say you're crazy. I just wanted to, I mean, people people genuinely do want to help. So. Like I said, you give them some money, I guarantee you they'll take it. I guarantee they will. They'll take your money. Guaranteed they will. But will they put it towards my mom's funeral? No. And they don't have yes, to. Yes, they would. Why? Because it's not going they don't through me. They have to. That's why. It's fraud. If they you can give them all the money. You, well, you can give them $100,000. You know, I'm sure they'll. I'm sure they'll take your money. I don't have no doubt they'll take your money. <laughs> That's not in question. What the question is, is, will they put it towards my calendar. mother? And the answer is no, because it's not going through me. Oh, that sounds like Trag. I think Trag's on the phone with them. So, so Vaughn, way. I just called them. Mm -hmm. Everything's already paid for. What? Uh, what? I literally just called them, and well, they doubled back them a double check, open and close casket, everything. And they said, and she repeated again. Seven grand has been paid. And she said, everything has been paid for. It's okay, a Christmas see, miracle. There you go. Don't worry <laughs> it's about a Christmas there. miracle. Oh, oh look at look him. At oh, Vaughn. You tried a last face. minute. He knows a it's last over. minute bullshit. Oh, he is this kid? Over. Is this not kids? Is this dogs young, uh, small, like puppies? Or are they all yeah. different ages? That well, well, that that one's uh, fully grown, but she's a small dog. I mean, that dog's been a, a massive point of concern because it actually turned out that the dog was pregnant and Vaughn's got this really nasty habit. He'll pick the dog up and he'll sit and clap the dog until he gets bored and then he literally throws it in the bed. Yeets it. He throws it. Yeah. Wow. Yeets it on the bed. Where's his bed? Is it close right. to where uh, it is? Five feet. Five to ten feet. Right. You can see the corner of it. Yeah. The purple mattress here. Oh, okay. He says the dog likes it. No, he doesn't. What an idiot. <laughs> There you okay. go. Now you okay. can move on from that problem. Yeah. All right. That's Those beautiful. Yeah, Thank you, right. Jack. Almost really actually. appreciate it. Yeah, he's he so angry. He tried, he tried again the next time to do that. He tried again. Yeah, that is the other video that I sent you. That's the I've sent you definitely the right one, but he tries again. By the way, the funeral home in Ohio does not start with a B. Rose Hill Burial Park. So he was saying it started. Start yeah, he, when Drag asked him, does it start with a B? Yeah, that'd be the funeral home. No. The one in Ohio is Rose Hill Burial Park. So, and you're saying the next day, Vaughn made a video saying that he needed uh, he GoFundMe for his... was for trying his, to get uh, seven mom. grand. Yep. Damn. And did anyone come in and say, Vaughn, we, we went over this. No, Vaughn, nobody, can, nobody can chat. You have to be a member for two years. You can't chat in this chat. Nobody say that is, that is crazy shit. You and it doesn't give the link out, so you can't go on his panel and say anything. You're just you're stuck. You have to be that a is... subscriber for three months before you can so uh, before you can make comments. Now, if you make one comment that it doesn't like, it'll just kick you. They changed it to two years. Is it two years now? It's two years now. <laughs> blue blue was almost there. <laughs> now he's not, oh yeah. Now yeah, blue isn't gonna be able to comment. Is there yeah. anybody that's been there that, that long that can actually chat with him? Well, there's a few that he lets. I mean, there's I Rosalie, think Billy there's was just... Billy for the Geek Room was saying that it was about a week away. A couple. Yeah, of that's weeks you're ago. right. It was, yeah. it was tatted. Tatted Jedi was had that's almost crazy. built up for years. I just refused right. to subscribe to him. So yeah, but you see, he knows he's caught, and he's doing more of this self-soothing with the dog. 
you know, because, you know, he has no kids anymore and everything. But wow, Todd, you really opened my eyes to that. The, you know, I mean, I can't blame the children because children are children. They are, yeah. they learn from, you know, they learn from behavior. Yeah. They yeah. saw this behavior and they decided yeah. to act, treat the mother, their grandmother like that. Yeah. That's they were trained at a young age that she's yeah. a bitch and she's, yeah. Oh, definitely. I mean, there's the, the rather famous video that we've all seen by now where, Vaughn's mum phones him at like six o'clock in the morning. She says, It's time to get up. He's yeah. like, Oh, I'm up. She says, Oh, I need to have a word with you. Can you come across here? And, he's, and he starts going down the phone at her. And it's, Well, what do you want? Just tell me down the phone for fuck's sake, mum. And she says, Look, I've made a mistake. I'm sorry. And he hangs the phone up on her, flips the phone at her and says, Love you too, bitch. Yeah. Whoa. <laughs> yeah. On live stream. That's fucked up. With his, uh, at that point, probably 89 year old mother. Yeah. Nice. Well, who paid? Thank you, Jack. Who paid? She yeah. didn't disclose, but she said it. She said it was already paid for. That was her exact quote. <coughs> there we go. Yeah. All right. So there we go. That's perfect. Yeah. Uh, there you go. Yeet. Yep. Oh, he just did it. Hold on. Yeah, he just, he just did it. He just threw the dog. Go back a few more seconds. Oh. There it is. Whoa. Ooh. Yeah. Oh my god, yo, why is it little anyway? tiny legs, legs like that long landing on the mattress? Todd still hasn't done it yet. You got what haven't you done? Hasn't done what? Yeah, <laughs> I don't know. I haven't done it. I got two kids, done it. Plenty. Oh. <laughs> Holy shit, Alrighty. I can't believe that he like that he can't, someone can't call animal control in that area and just be like, yo, <laughs> that's not cool. Seriously, oh, that's actually the smallest of the concerns with the dogs because oh. he's got what I know. I know what Tad is talking about now. I didn't. I can't see him in the in the chat. Oh, for uh, some reason on the streamline. But I went back to the YouTube and I see him in there. Hi, Rickzilla. Yeah, I'm not going to time you out tonight. I'm feeling generous. <laughs> <laughs> it's, just, it's just a silly thing. Yeah, yeah, it's, man. It's all in uh, fun. Everyone, I Rick, more, Rick more knows more. it's no. all in fun. Yeah, it's because well. Uh, no, Todd's been helping me out with all these random robot, whatever they're called. What you say? What do you say they're called? And Those oh, robot the, things? Yeah, they're chatbots. Yeah, chatbots. Chat yeah. chat they're just there to try and share links to try and get people's vi viruses in their computers. Yeah. It's bizarre. Yeah, right? <laughs> anyway. So this one, yeah, what's up? Stay, stay tuned. I'm, I'm going to take off, too. I'm going to get to bed early. I did a 12 today. So um, tomorrow, J-Dubs is getting married. So... I Stay tuned. For, already really? No, no. Is he's, he really? He's, he's getting married tomorrow. As you you know, I've been on some of the Kink Inc. streams. I, I, I hang out with some of those people from time to time, and I, I, I'm good friends with Kat, and we chat, and, you know, John used to live in that house, so they still maintain some contact. He's getting married tomorrow, and when oh. the details of all this come out, let me just say, it's going to be a big story. Who's the lucky so, fella? Stay tuned for oh. that. I don't want yeah, to reveal a lot at this time. I just want to kind of let it bomb itself <laughs> oh yeah let me know it's, in the Discord, bro. it's gonna be a big mess oh and, uh, i'm holding my tongue for at least about another week oh and, uh, watch well, let watch, me know just watch the transition of old j dubs I'm, over the next few days i'm i'm down for uh i'm down for big messes it's, it's gonna, gonna be it's gonna, gonna be a mess, he's the lucky lady no yeah. she's uh <laughs> let me i'll just say this she's way too pretty and way too nice to be with j dubs so there's there's a clue of what yeah. might be going on here. I've seen her picture, and they're not lying. She's she's far too attractive to be hanging out with J Dubs. No, you know, don't mean any offense by that, but no. Uh, Ivy asked, did you just meet her, or is it yeah, is that his ex? It's been a month and a half, about six weeks. This she's only, been, she's only been in the country about six weeks, honestly. <laughs> what? Yeah, <laughs> what? Yeah. She's only he, been in the country got... a very short time. Right, he got Which, a, again might weave its way into the story when it's when it all comes out. He got a non-American bride, like a She's you know, like definitely non-American. I've been so saying like per those, person of color to be uh yeah to be discreet. Well, well, I mean, but, I mean, it's yeah. like those mail order brides. That's what I mean. She no no, she didn't come for J Dubs. She came for, to the United States for another reason. But she met J Dubs. Ah, oh. and uh, some, when these details come out, I'm telling you, it's going to be big. <laughs> So uh, oh. stay tuned for that. Thanks for having me on. Oh, no you, guys problem, have, Todd. you guys have a great night. I'm gonna hang out Thank here. you very much. We'll talk to you guys later. Yeah. Okay.
All right. Well, well I'm just gonna finish this uh this last one before I go off because now I'm on two hours. Uh, but yeah. Uh, so this is about the funeral expenses. Found out I mowed uh, fifty six thousand eight hundred eighty dollars. Right. This one we could split into two parts right. because the to start with he's talking about he's owed money for the for uh, child support. Um. I've, in my personal opinion, what I think he's done is he's worked out the child support that he knew his mother had to pay for his um, his son that he tried not to claim. He's multiplied that by three, and then he's pretty much said uh, okay, for the amount of time, and that's what he's going to get off of Andrea. That's what I think he's done. Oh, I got you. That's, that's a hunk of change. <laughs> That'll help me out a great deal. That's a very specific amount. They send you a itemized statement, or did you do some math, or have I, you, I, I, I have this curious. little, I have this wonderful little gadget called a calculator, and I literally figured it up. There you go. Yeah, man. Yep, fifty-six thousand eight hundred and eighty dollars. Yeah, man. Dow hairs. And it's mine, mine, mine. Oh, mine. All I got to do is go and uh, I, yeah, I, I don't even think I need a court date. I just, I just go tell the the um, county attorney, hey. Here's my money. Give me my money. <laughs> I want my money, man. I want that's my money. Thanks. I mean, that's that's great news. Yeah, this that's is one money. of the lies that comes to Vaughn. I don't and understand I, I sure where he thinks it's going to go because Vaughn has been through the system himself. As was said already, he managed to get his mother in a rather lucid moment to go down to a bank and withdraw $30,000. And he has been ordered to pay that money back. So he should know how this works. So why tell the lie? Yeah. Yeah, and that's what I heard. Uh, we were talking about that before. That uh, either his, you know, his mom, uh, he he stole it. Like he brought his mom down to the bank, and you know, said, "Hey, uh, give me thirty grand." And she was probably, you know, lucid and had no idea what was going on. But yeah, why why should he tell this lie? I, I'm not sure. This guy, he's more of an enigma. The more videos I watch about him, definitely. <laughs> <laughs> I sure Randy, need it. Hey, what's up? Right fifty thousand, fifty-six dollars is a lot of money to me right now. Yeah, I'm telling you. Uh -huh. Yeah, yeah, because I tell you, that's a that's a hunk of money, man, and that'll really help me out. I'll be able to get mom buried and and uh, get some other things took care of too, even. And so, yeah, that'll that'll be a big help to me, no doubt about it. No. One thing I will mention here it, is that apparently. There has been worked out that Vaughn's checking account has a grand total of thirty dollars left in it. Oh, really? Yeah, that's what uh, I had heard uh, two days ago, maybe that it was forty dollars, and I'm sure I heard earlier the day that it was down to thirty odd dollars. So he's always changing the narrative. I think he wants to perpetually have everyone always confused, so nobody knows the real truth of what's going on. Oh, well, this one, I, I actually believe um, the Frost especially have said that they aren't going to help him anymore. There's talk about getting him off the property. and That's great. This is where we hit the point where Vaughn has to be panicking. So is he telling people that he's nearly broke to try and get cash out donations? Or mm -hmm. is he trying to big himself up to his friends and he can't make up his mind which one he wants to do? So he seems to be trying to do both. Now, um, with uh, with Vaughn, he doesn't do nothing, right? He has no job. He's not on any social security or anything like that. Like he barely and does anything, right? He was claiming social security benefits, which were cut off because he's never worked, and it was his mother was dealing with all his bills. He was claiming um, some sort of benefits for his son because his son's yeah. autistic, <laughs> and um. Was it I'm sorry, Wilson? No, it wasn't Wilson. It was, uh, I can't remember who was talking about it, but they were basically saying that they've got an autistic child and they get the same benefit as what Vaughn was getting. But what that money is supposed to be for is things like speech therapy. Um, and he was using it for other things. Like you know That's where his marble is, chair came from. I've never seen pieces of shit like this that weren't on some sort of drugs. And that's no excuse, but like I've seen like, you know, pieces of shit do shit like this, you know, to push their drug habits. Like what does Vaughn need all this money for? If he's not doing drugs, if he doesn't drink and he's in this, everything's paid for, what does he need the money for? He just likes to live in his own bubble. 
Ah. Oh. I mean, ah, he, he really does have this bubble where he thinks that he's the best, he's the most important. Um, it's probably been the fact that his mother coddled him that his entire life. This is the the simile that's been made is this is Rev if Rev's mother had lived longer because oh, he, yeah. he was coddled his entire life. Def definitely. A good analogy. That would definitely be Rev. That would definitely be uh, Rev if, if he was older. Yeah, definitely. Still dealing um, with the uh, still dealing with the uh, burial amount. Mm -hmm. You didn't really believe that a bunch of YouTube trolls paid that bill, did you? <laughs> I'm, I'm I'm just yeah. asking. Out Nobody of concern, said that they paid your, the bill for them. They mother, said that the bill I was paid. No anything about the Dude. trolls or anything like that. I just Any, yeah, right. anybody you any concern. As many times as these fuckwads have lied, I don't know how anyone would believe a word they fucking say. Because they've lied about everything. You need to quit talking stupid. You got kids to worry about. <laughs> I do. I do. I do. I do. Unless they take them away and sell them to the highest bidder, then I won't have kids anymore, right? Technically, you will still have children. Yes, I agree. But they will no longer be around. Wow. I mean, even people are just like, dude, you're still going to have children technically. Stop it. Well, yes, but they won't be around if they're not sold to the highest bidder, if they're not sacrificed to Satan. Like, he's such a fucking weirdo. Yeah, I mean, this is, just before I go <laughs> into that, um, guys, hi. Um, this is something that he said over the years because he's had this story about his kids being abused in care because the CPS system sold them into slavery and it threatened them with legal action and then they brought them back. So hey James, is... you see that comment? Yeah, that's what I just said. Hi Aiden. Guys. Oh, okay. Um yeah, like I say, this is uh it's an old story there that it claims that the kids were abused and which is why that they've got so many problems, but the actual reason that they, they've got so many problems is because of Vaughn himself. There's no way around yeah. it. Yeah. Hey, twisted. As Jay Morgan says as well, the nobody ever claimed that anybody had paid the money. It's not like Drag phoned up um claimed to pay the money. He just oh. called up and asked how much was left. So do you James, do you know how much back child support he owes? He owes back child support, huh? Yeah. Um he has been getting billed for child support because for the looks of things, since he did the cat test, I think it's called, he failed the cat test, which some people are saying that oh, it's either a test for pedophilia or it's a test to make sure that you can make proper connections with people or possibly both. Wow. He failed that, so there's no chance the kids are coming back. So they have since turned around and said, you need to start paying child support. On top of that, while the kids were in foster care, he was still claiming child support and Jerry's money. So wow, he has been billed for the back money and he is getting a new bill every month for the child from Social Security. Yeah. Wow, what a piece of shit! Like seriously, I'm surprised he's not in jail for all these things. Usually, when you when you mess with the government, they will clap your cheeks. No yeah. shit, you know. And the United States government does not like to get fucked. They like to do the fucking. Well, that's one of these what things. Is, we are, as we said before, rooms are coming, but we can't well, see too yeah. much on that one. Yeah. <laughs> Once they're 18, they can do what the hell they want. They want to come back and live with dad, they'll come back and live with dad. I heard, now, correct me if I'm wrong, but I heard that once they turn 12, they can tell CPS to go jump in a lake. No, not 12. No. Um, people can, children can be emancipated as young as 14 years old. I've seen it. Where, like, the you know, the, the, the father, if the parents divorced, the father was just a piece of trash. And the daughter had to say, you know, I knew someone, uh, the daughter, she got scratched by the father's new girlfriend's cat because she didn't want the cat near her. And she told him, get the cat away from me. And cat scratched her. So she kicked it. And he said, you got to go home. And as soon as she went home, they brought her to court. And she said, I don't, you know, I don't want to be around them. And, but 12 is really young. Yeah. 
But I mean, there's no way that a judge would order emancipation at this point if he can't take care of his own mother. <laughs> you know, yeah, I mean, this is the point where it's hitting legal things. Where it, I kind of see yeah. America being too much different for the UK. But in the UK, in a divorce situation, the kids at 12 years old would be able to sit down and have a conversation with people to say, I want to live with mum, I want to live with dad. This isn't a divorce What's... situation. This is a situation where Vaughn was the, the primary parent and he has been proven to be dangerous. So what's this uh this pedo test? Uh, I know you guys just mentioned it a little bit ago. What is that again? Um, it's called a cat test. K A T. Um, okay. I can't remember what it stands for right now. I would have to look it up. But basically, Vaughn was told they had to go for this test, and it <laughs> um, Vila is the the person to ask about it because I'll say it again, Vila investigates better than the FBI. She got oh, yeah. every bit of information about that test, um, and Vaughn failed it, and. I think it was earlier on. Yeah, it was a, a premiere going on earlier on on Secular Opinions channel where he has, they were having a conversation through Discord and he's recorded it and put it out as a premiere. And one of the Frosts has basically turned around and said, yeah, we know about the test and we know that he failed it. Oh. And I think Maybe he... Maybe CAP for like, consider if this asshole is a pedo. Yeah. <laughs> Well, he, I think he said at the time that it's not that it's not focused in on pedophilia, but it's emotional oh. uh, abilities Jay and stuff like that. Said a cognitive ability test. Thanks, Jay. Oh, well, there we go. I thought it was KAT, sir. Maybe. I, I never heard a bit about this No, I mean, that, was, test before. that sounds right to me as well, because as I say, Vila said it, so that sounds right. But yeah, he's failed whatever this test is, and under the the conditions of that, for the looks of things, he's not getting the kids back. And every lifeline that Vaughn has clung on to over the last few years has been his mother, the kids, um, Andrea. Andrea eventually got to a point she couldn't take it anymore. She left. Hmm. He has burnt every bridge with the frost that is possible to burn. And even well, if hey, James, a... do you hear what I said before? Apparently, uh, I heard I found out last night from the Sky Pauly on Grampy's stream that uh, because Andrea punched Alice, Alice told Larry, and yeah. Larry Frost told her, You need to get her out, yeah, you know, for your own safety type of thing. And so and then Vaughn thought maybe there was some black magic voodoo to make Larry tell her to get Andrea out. It's some crazy shit. Like, no, you, your wife hits your mom and because she was 80 something at the time, you know, she had to go. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. Sick. If I remember correctly, what had happened there was that the kids were going over to Ma's trailer and they were eating that out of the house and home. And at that time, mm. I'm sure Andrea and Vaughn were getting food stamps. So all that had happened is that. Ma had said, is there any chance that you could just give me some of the food stamps and oh, that way I'll did. cover what the kids are eating? And that kicked Definitely. off an argument and apparently for that point Ma Hilton might have said some along the lines of, the foster parents are better parents than you are. And because of Andrea's mental problems and how much she had been gassed up with Vaughn, she got frustrated and she punched Alice. Yeah, but she wasn't wrong. Alice definitely wasn't wrong in that statement. Yeah, but, she definitely you know. wasn't. <laughs> no, no, no. Why can they do that? The only right. thing that that is, and it's not twelve; it's usually thirteen or fourteen. Right. It's the kids can 14. say if their parents are divorced, who they can live with. Right, has oh. nothing to do with CPS or anything else like that. Oh, mm. uh, well, that's unfortunate because I was kind of hoping you know no. the kids would. Kind of hoping the kids would have some say because it sounds to me like the kids ain't got no rights at all. Pretty much. What it sounds like to me. And again, they're minors. Yeah, and that's why they're in the foster care system. Yeah, I know that. If they had still... rights, they wouldn't be in the foster care system now, would they? Well, I keep hearing that they got rights. No, so, they don't have you know. rights. <laughs> they have rights. It's, yeah. They're trying to protect. You know, they, let me say the foster care. My grandmother was in the foster care because. Uh, basically, I'm part Irish, and my grandmother's like full Irish, and she had to like take her Irish parents off the bar stool every day. So her parents were awful. So her and her brother never went to school or did anything like that, and they'd have to go to foster care. And you know, they looked at you as a pack of cigarettes, you know, a meal ticket. Yeah. So she would just not live with them either and not go to school. And apparently, uh, 
CPS or you know the, the truant officers grabbed her at 18 years old and said, you haven't been to school. She's like, well, what am I going to do now? <laughs> I'm 18. But anyway, like, you know, she used to tell me stories. So I could see what this person's trying to say. But in this instance, no, Vaughn was a shit parent. Uh, you know, Andrea was just too mentally incapacitated to, to care for the children. And poor Alice had to say, hey, you know, can you try to take care of these kids? And I yeah, could see man. out of frustration, you're the foster parents are better. But uh, I see where everyone's saying in this instance, no, it's the foster people. They were there to, you know, protect the children. Yeah, that's the thing, because Vaughn doesn't seem to grasp the fact that the, the reason why the kids have been taken away isn't because they've been denied the rights. It's because they have rights. They have rights to Human safety, rights. to security, <laughs> To not shit in an air vent, they have human rights. I mean, yet as much as that was a joke, that's probably fairly, fairly accurate because I would say that it's against their human rights the way that they were treated in that house. And as was already mentioned, I mean, things that were happening in that house, like the way that Vaughn would treat Alice, and then the kids would pick up on it and they would think that she's a bad person, they would be horrible to her. What does he expect is going to happen, basically? Well, you know, good thing that, you know, I mean, I guess I could say better late than never, but I feel like if I was at the hospital, I, I would have never let them, them take them, them home. A good thing they called CPS, be, being mandated reporters, you know, the nurses. But still, man, there's something, you know, really wrong here. You know, yeah. I, I bet those kids now know, like, oh, my God, my grandmother, how awful. You know, they're going to look back, I feel – you know, when I was younger, I wasn't great to some of my uh, family members because whether my parents didn't like them or not, and then later on made, made amends, you know. But we all do stupid things as kids, but it's it's ultimately the parents' fault why those stupid things happen. If they give a impression that they don't like them for some reason, even though I don't know why Vaughn wouldn't like his mother, I mean, she took care of him. Uh, the kids are going to pick up on that, but yeah. let's finish this out. I keep oh, saying that they're being physically abused and can pre prove it. <coughs> that's, that's yeah, like I would really harm. I mean, you no, know, what? I'm talking where they are now I, oh, in well. their foster care. Home. <laughs> well, yeah, well, we have to well, prove that the foster well, parents well. are neglectful or abusive. No. Well, <laughs> there's no reason for them being there in the first place because potty training a puppy is not child abuse, child neglect, or child endangerment. This is true. What? Your kids were shitting between the bed springs, you piece of shit. The story that, piece of garbage. The story that he put out the last time the kids were taking was that apparently he was pot potty training midnight in the house because midnight oh, that, was that an dog, indoor that dog. dog. Yeah, puppy. that dog. He said that midnight was an indoor dog, and indoor dogs are trained to use the, the bathroom on paper. He wow. claimed that she was a puppy, but at that point in time, she would have been pregnant, so she was beyond being a puppy. She was beyond that point, and for stories that were being told, it wasn't a fresh dog poo that was in the, the bathroom. <laughs> it was human the, poo. Uh, apparently, it was still dog poo, but it was dried and rolling around the corridors. It had been there for so long. Why was it in the kids' fucking rooms then? What do you mean? Right, those were. Wasn't that dog shit in the kids' rooms? Oh no, anything that was in the kids was probably unfortunately the kids because Vaughn was well yeah. known to just lock them in there, and they were desperate and had to find ways to relieve themselves. Oh, um, yo, James, do you know this about that? Uh, I heard that the 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 girl, his daughter, yeah. she went to school and she had like a mustard stain on her blouse where she yeah. had a little. Bond claims How old that, was she at the time? Like 10. I'm not sure the age, but she was old enough to be making sandwiches. And apparently Vaughn had let her make a sandwich with mustard on it. And the story that he tells is that she had made a sandwich that day and got a little bit of mustard on her blouse. CPS came in, discovered a mustard stain on the blouse and instantly took the kids. The actual story that we've managed to do get for Discord and things like that, mm -hmm. is that she had been wearing the same blouse for almost a week and it had the same mustard stain on Fuck. the blouse for a week. What? Are you kidding yeah, me? Like, straight. it's bad enough one day? Yeah, this guy. Oh. I mean, you know, I've, I've had 
uh, schools say some bullshit. I've heard of people, friends of mine, in the past, and you know, I thought like it was very out of character. And that would be like one day, five days in a row. That just yep. gets me angry. <laughs> like really. that's one of the big reasons why uh, CPS was getting called so oh. often because there would. But there would be times the kids would be there and there's no nice way to put it. They smelled. They would yeah. smell terrible and they would have to be sent home. And that would happen enough times that eventually concerns were raised. People, uh, teachers and school staff started contacting CPS. Yeah, no, like, you know, um, yeah, if, if I ever thought that, you know, before my kids were going to school, if they even hinted the, at, at a dirty smell i'd be like yo we gotta do that real quick because you know that's just how i feel like how i was raised like you know when you present yourself you present the family type of way yeah but you know just show them hygiene because kids so, are kids it's just you know? it's well-being as well i mean i had it just before the holidays there i think my son had burst um it was his shoe he'd burst he'd burst his school said. shoe and i just a what a school had, shoe so uh, yeah, he'd take the sole off his shoe for school. Oh, the sole. Okay. Yeah. So I, I just phoned the school up, and I mean, he was panicking at me because he said he was going to get in trouble for being late, and my son's got a mild anxiety disorder, so he gets panicky about things. <laughs> and I just pulled my phone out, phoned the school up, and said he's going to be late because I'll have to go and buy him new shoes. Yeah. This wasn't the end of the world, but no. this guy was so lazy that he wouldn't do washing. There's, there has been talk over the years that he didn't do washing. He would just go to Goodwill and buy big bags of clothes. And then he would wear the same shirts over and over again to make the bag last until the next time he had money to go to Goodwill. Apparently. <laughs> so he was uh, probably doing that with the kids. So, okay. So the, the daughter was wearing a dirty blouse with a big mustard stain on it five days in a row. Yeah. The schools call CPS, CPS shows up, and then they find dog shit all over the, the trailer. I think these are two different instances. Um, the dog shit one was the last one. Uh, I'm not sure. This is the big problem because, th what, 12 times they've been taken? Uh, sorry, 13 times they've been taken, yeah, 12 times they've been returned. It can get a bit confusing to remember which time's which. How uh, is he getting them back? Did, is he, there any videos on that? Um, we're not sure about how he's getting them back, but basically the suspicion is that because he has um Kentucky's yeah, I had one a of those, I've, got right, I've got five <laughs> of them right now, but um because of the fact that he was doing all these classes that were supposed to make him a better parent, and Kentucky is apparently one of these kinds of states where they do everything possible to try and keep the families together. So he got 13 chances to fuck up, and he fucked up every one. Uh, no, uh, OG Skywatch, uh, Vons, uh, his mother passed away, and her funeral was today. So we were just talking about that and all this other crazy stuff that I personally did not know about, you know. And the reason just, why we're talking about the funeral, because of the fact it's happened today, is because Vaughn didn't even go. Yes. Which and apparently, if Vaughn was to open his front door and throw a baseball, he could hit his mother's headstone, and she never went. Or he never went, sorry. And he was trying to do twice a, a GoFundMe uh, to raise money, because he said he needed seven grand, and you know, but because of the fact that he owes a lot of money for back child support, we got into talking about the children. So you see how the... Yeah. How the, the train of thought went. <laughs> it's all from not eight, yes, eight years ago. It's more 10, 12 years ago, but it's all relevant to what's happening today. But thank you for your question. Oh uh, yeah. Well, yeah, no, you're right. You guys are exactly right, though. 13 times. Yeah, who knows with what? Make stinkly homeless. <laughs> hey Grampy, if you did want to come in, I did give you a, a like. I'm gonna be just a little bit more. Uh and precise. Yeah, that's just that's just awful. I didn't know that that it was five days in a row, but you know, and I don't know how he was able to get those kids back. I would love to see videos of him saying, "Hey, I got my kids back," because you know, maybe someone will come in clean up for a little bit. Did he actually have a cleaning crew sometimes? Like, um, it was members of the family. Um, oh, okay. I think it was Marcia Frost. Her name is. She would be paid by Alice to go into the trailer 
and clean. And she has described it that she, because they, the amount of time that the kids were locked in the rooms, she has described having to use a putty knife to remove feces from the walls. Who did that? The, the family member? Yeah, the family member. She oh. says that she had to have a specific putty knife, which was used to scrape the walls because Jerry, especially with his autism, would play with his poo. And <coughs> apparently, she wow. had to paint his ceiling five coats to get rid of the stains. Oh, wow. <laughs> so they're there illegally to begin with. Wrongful removal of a child. Google that, trolls. <laughs> oh, wait, I forgot. You're too stupid to use Google. Sorry, never mind. Look who's talking. Uh, but those those of you that actually have a thing. It's not that people are too stupid. It's that, that people are too smart for your your schemes. He's like an old schemer. You know what yeah. I mean? Like yeah, those I mean, one of those guys that were trying to make you sell magazines door to door. Yeah. That, you just, that seems to be one of the traits with these cows because – we saw yeah. it either last year or the year before. I can't remember which. When Rev was trying to claim that he was going to buy an RV for homeless people, and it just turned out that they, they started to realize the money was running out, so they were trying to scam people. They just—they all have their scams. Uh, this is crazy, and you know, I realize a lot of people hate Vaughn, and you know, I'm starting to as well. You know, but I'll always try to see the good in everyone before I get to the hate them road. I do it with everybody. You know, it takes me a long time to actually like, you know, dislike I, a person. I, know I, exactly I really you get, feel. Um, I try to I'll give try everyone to, a lot of chances. Yeah, I try to live on the, the premise that nobody should be beyond redemption. Um, there's actually a man that I follow called Daryl Davis, who has the nickname of the Black Klansman. Um, he goes to Klu, Klu Klux Klan rallies. <laughs> And he talks to the members, and he is yeah. the proud owner of over 200 Ku Klux Klan member robes because when he convinces them to leave, he uh, the only thing he asks for them is that he gets the robes. And he is a great inspiration to me that we should not close the door to redemption on people. But I cannot keep that door open, Von Hilt. Did Von like, not have enough clothes to give his kids every day? Like a work week or a school week or whatever? Probably not. I mean, like I say, there has been talk over the years. Um, you my kids have to wear uniforms. Them. So we had that, like, kid, five of, like, khakis and five of, like, red button downs. Yeah, no, same here. My kids have to wear uniform, but I'm assuming that his school is just a casual clothes school. And, yeah, like I say, Von Helton's been well known. There was one point I can remember, where, again, they were talking about Goodwill bags, where they were just going grab whatever was on the shelves at Goodwill that he could afford. And he Bound would blow up a ship. You see this shit? Do you know about yeah. that? He was going to blow up a ship? Yeah. Why was he going to do that? I can't remember. Um, <laughs> there's been that many threats for Vaughn as well. I mean, Vaughn has threatened that he's going to suicide bombs the CPS building. He's going to kill cops. He's going <laughs> to... I'll, I'll take everyone's word for it. Holy shit. Team working brain. Uh, Google wrongful removal of a child. It's an eye-opening experience. Uh, the only time CPS can remove your children is if they are in imminent physical danger at that moment. Or okay, excessive moment. neglect. Yeah, well, that is neglect. You know, you, they're being abused. They're being, you know, assaulted, whatever. The kids are not in danger <laughs> if I'm at my sink doing my dishes. The children are not in danger. That's if you are at the sink doing your dishes. But again, this is one of Vaughn's very typical stories because he has oh, yeah. said over the years that there was no reason to take the kids. The only reason CPS are allowed to take children is if they are going to die that very second. And that's not how it works. That's what he said, right? That's what he said. That the only reason the CPS are allowed to take kids is if they are minutes away from death, literally. Wow. He's so messed up. Yeah, what what is the uh t the toys? Like he wants to do this uh he's but spending all his money on these foam uh airplanes. He has this really great idea in his head that he can sell these foam planes for up to $10,000. I think he said at one point he must have seen somebody selling um replica aircraft sort of similar to this and has got this great idea. I went and had a look on eBay personally, and the most expensive plane that I could see that was professionally made 
was 350 British pounds, so about five hundred dollars. <laughs> um, wow, uh, he burned his kids. Oh yeah, um, it was actually Andrea that burnt the kid. Um, oh. I'm not sure exactly how it happened, but basically, hot water was put on instead of cold water. Andrea put the kid in the bath, caused. Um, a scalding injury to the kid, and because CPS had been involved, Vaughn refused to take the kids to the hospital, cut a potato in half, and rubbed it over the kid's skin. Oh, shit. Yeah, that's right, the potato. Yeah, what's up with that? That doesn't work. Yeah, they, that must be some home remedy that he's had for somewhere, but that's not going like, to work. I've heard scold. something like that before, but man, no. I would first not burn my kid. Like, I'd make sure. Well, I, I mean, the water, one, you know? It's one of these things that it's probably... There's probably some truth there because you have to take the heat out of a burn. And if you, I mean, for example, I keep my potatoes in the fridge. So if I was to burn myself while I was cooking, wouldn't it be uncommon for me to cut a potato or uncalled for? I wouldn't do it. I would just use the tap personally. But if I was to cut a potato in half and put the cold potato against the, the burn, that would probably do some good. But because of the extent of the burn, because it would be over a wider area, you're not going to rub a potato on that and solve anything. Hey, James, do we know who Yvonne's talking to right now? Is this one of his simps? Um, yeah. Does I he have remember. simps? Yeah, he does, and I still don't wow. understand why. He's got J-Dubs. He's got... Um, That's right, J-Dubs. How Skyler? did J-Dubs oh. get to be his like best buddy, just being around or something from back in the day? Uh, J-Dubs has been a uh, Klingon for many years. Uh, I think the, be the best term would be a dangleberry. He started off with Brett Keen. He left this. Of... He let. Do you leave the babies like in the in the crib? Yeah. Fuck. Yeah, like I would never think to do that. My kids was went with me everywhere. They hated it. But I'm like, I, I seriously, you know, brought them to work. Brought them like if I had to go to the store, it was a pain in the ass. I know, you know? exactly how you feel. I mean, I was that very typical father that if somebody was to come at me and say. I mean, my kids were usually well behaved in shops, for example, and yeah. I would have friends of mine come to me and say, "How is it you can get your kids to behave like that in the shops?" And I'm the one that's turning around and saying, "Are you making the appropriate engine noises when you're running through the shop?" But the only thing like, I ever did was to like let my kid in the car while I put a letter in the post box. Yeah, because I couldn't reach it from the car, you know. Yeah, that's the furthest that any reasonable parent would go. But Vaughn claims that he went to go and get a bag of donuts for the kids and left them in cribs. But he says that he was away for five minutes. Can't be true because it was long enough that somebody came to do a welfare check. They have waited long enough to decide that he wasn't in and have obviously heard the kids and burst the door in and find out that the kids were alone. So it wasn't five minutes he was away. There's suspicions that he's probably bought himself a couple of scratch offs, scratched them off in the shop, stood and had a conversation yeah. with the cashier, and maybe picked up some donuts for himself on the way home. That's awful. That is just this guy's got so much problems. Okay, they have to be in danger. Okay, me sitting there at my sink <laughs> really? doing my dishes is not putting my kids in danger. Me doing my laundry back in the in the utility room is not putting my kids in danger. Nope. Okay. Children have to be in danger to be yeah, removed right from the home, <laughs> especially if they're going to remove them for years. Holy shit. You know, I could see removing them for a week until whatever major disaster they want fixed. I can see that. But keeping them for years. Yeah, on that end, one's not a joke. Yeah, um, Vaughn was actually. Well, money racket. What's up? Vaughn, Vaughn has a video out there that he has written a list of CPS charges for when the kids have been taken away at one point. And he is talking about how the the daughter was left in the high chair for hours on end to just watch Fox News and the Weather Channel. And Vaughn actually argues in the video that this isn't neglect because she dearly loves the Weather Channel. <laughs> so that's so when they when that shit was going on with you know with the, with the Weather uh, Channel, that was uh, that was that that was they let them. In the chairs, yeah. I mean, they were just they would be left for hours on end in front of the television because Vaughn had this 
stupid idea in his head that you didn't pick up kids too often or else they'll get spoiled with the attention. And if they get spoiled with the attention, then everything you try to put them down, they cry. And again, I mean, you sound like I'm fairly similar to how I was when my kids were not small. They so much as made a peep. I, I gave me an excuse to walk about with them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. This is fucked up. <laughs> what I'll this do is I'll just is... take this quick. Oh, wait. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, there's another yeah, video here. I'll send it to you in the private chat. Okay. And if you want, you can go through that one next. It's from creator on YouTube called The Grey Alien that wanted to go shot at. Yeah, yeah, I've seen must some be. Stuff. There must be some reason to be doing it. Oh, yeah, your foster home people are getting a lot of money. Too. That's just that's just insane, though, man. That's crazy. Insane. They get the food stamps. They get the welfare check money. They get this and that. Yeah, I've seen it. Yeah. Well, I don't think that's right, but whatever. Of course, uh, nobody really asked for my opinion either, though, do they? <laughs> no, they do not. <laughs> I love that he thinks it's like, you know, they, they need to ask his opinion. Like, no, you should do uh, what you're supposed to do to be a good parent. Yeah. You again, this to... is Vaughn's idea that he is the center of the universe. Every decision that he makes is 100% correct. I don't, right. I, I just don't understand how somebody could be this deluded personally. Oh, you. you... You'd be surprised, man. You know, um, like I said, like I, I've seen people do shit like this from spite, uh, for you know, like being spiteful, like having shit done to them in life. But it looks like he really didn't have to do anything. Like his mom took care of him. He didn't do any drugs or alcohol. He's just a piece of shit for piece of shit's sake. And to me, that's just even worse than. A drug act because you know like, yeah i shouldn't give a drug act any extra uh leniency but still no, i feel thing. like that's an excuse i know what you mean because going. like you say a drug addict there's at least something that you can point at there and say the drugs are huh? the reason this person was so bad what can you point at with on oh yeah yeah that daddy oh five guy yeah yo uh, oh, oh gee i don't even uh, could I? I saw that guy and that shit that went down. Like, what? He had five kids and he put them all online, type of thing. Uh, did yeah, you ever that, see that, James? That was that another YouTuber? rabbit hole. Yeah, and that was awful. That that was, you know, because I didn't know how that shit was actually like real. But yeah, he was an awful piece of shit to his kids. Yeah, I mean that. Especially the story that came out after the fact that was even worse. That yeah, the kids and they're gonna have to, uh, and hopefully whoever they're with are taking care of uh, this. They're gonna need like some sort of counseling, probably for a long time. Um, you know, I heard you know when I was in the Discord yesterday, James, uh, the Frosts were talking, and they mm -hmm. kind of said, you know, like they're in their fifties, they didn't want to have to raise Vaughn's children. They were asked. Vaughn said, do you want my kids? Yeah. <laughs> Vaughn like, has I... asked himself, uh, members of the Frost family, to take his kids off him. And yeah. when the kids were taken from CPS, at one point CPS had approached them and asked, we want to house the children with family. Can you take them? And they've had to turn around and say, we, we are not able. Crazy, man. I mean, I get that. Because, you know, if they're, you know, they've already done this. You know, Vaughn needs to take care of his own kids and or have the consequences done. I mean, me, you know, I do what I have to do. But I know raising kids is tough and you try to help out your family. You know, if, they, if you're if your uh, siblings have kids. Yeah, I but, believe that. I'd like you say, yeah. if siblings have got kids or members of the family have got kids and you find ways to work around it. I mean, I've been known to take my nephew if I didn't take my time because his mum wants to go out for the night out, things like that. And we, yeah, he's quite happy to cuddle into one of the beds or he'll cuddle into a floor bed that we didn't set up for him, stuff like that. When you're bringing three kids in at once, you can't just throw a, a makeshift together for one kid for a long-term stay, you know? Yeah, I got you. 
I am the grey alien that Von took a shot at. <laughs> and as promised, here's the video as to why he got his children removed. Now, CPS has taken Von's kids no less than 12 times. And I'll repeat, no less than 12 times. Child Protective Service... This was before the last time, right? Yeah, because this you was said before 13. the last time. This was... Okay. This probably would have been time five or six that the kids have been taking that he's going to cover here. Let's hear a report read by Vaughn. Lord have mercy, sir. Yesterday's pizza. It's got gnats and No, it does not have gnats. Oh, okay. I, that's good. He shows that. That's that's Alice who passed. And that's uh, Andrea. And, and that's crazy Vaughn. Jesus Christ. Please take it to the kitchen. I'll take it in the now, is this in the double room or the double, um, you know, in the mother's trailer? No, this is in Vaughn's trailer because this is just after the kids have been taken by CPS and Alice is actually there trying to get these two to make some form of organization. That's oh, why gotcha. she, I mean, she's literally just walked past the pizza box and she's turned around to Vaughn there and said, there are gnats in that pizza. And he's, he's arguing, there are no gnats in the pizza, Mom. Oh, like, so like they were just, the box was just there. Yo, when I have pizza... I eat it and the leftovers I'll stick in the fridge and then I throw the box in the recycle. That's yeah, I don't know exactly about what you. I, do. I don't know about you <laughs> or how pizzas are in America, but if I either make a pizza or I buy a pizza, especially if it's in a box, the box gets greasy and it starts to smell and I can't I can't handle that. I, yeah, yeah. As soon yeah, as I'm done, nasty. it goes in the bin. <laughs> yeah. And put your dirty napkins in the garbage. Uh -huh. This is exactly why that you got your children took away from no mom it isn't yes it is. there was no mention of the house at all sorry there was no mention of the house at all sorry <laughs> you failed once again you failed there was oh, no mention of the failed. fucking house no mention of the fucking house at all the home is cluttered to the point that it is difficult to find a place to sit and the surfaces i.e countertops tables coffee table etc are covered with dirty dishes dirty bottles and other stuff you will have to describe in detail what occurred in my home to cause my children to be at risk. Then request the court to order the release of the records. Yeah, yeah if I want to wait until they decide to do it. That camera he had was awful. On 8-9-2011, the children were seen at the UK Grand Clinic, Grad Clinic and were once again diagnosed as failure to I'm thrive. The formula was changed, this. however, this despite total cross from work. Seven years ago, and it probably would have been fairly standard for YouTube at the time because YouTube yeah. was made of vlogging things. So you didn't get the best. Uh, you didn't get the best stuff. It was just a hobby that a lot of people did. This was probably before a lot of people were making money on it. So how? So, like, what's the time that this happened? Like, yeah, uh, I'd guesstimate, but the the camera quality, I'd say about six, seven years ago. Okay, so out of the 13 times, was this like the first time, the sixth time? Oh, this would probably have been somewhere like fifth time to seventh time the kids were taking. Okay. Had not contacted the WIC program to obtain the new formula. The parents seem to be lackadaisical in the care of oh, Jeremiah sorry, and the twin, as well as their older sibling, Layla. The parents have been observed feeding their children out of dirty bottles. The twins were often left to cry it out in their bed. But they have been found in feces and urine on a regular basis. Layla is often left in the high chair or swing for hours at a time without any interaction. Wrong. Layla is left in the high chair in the swing to watch Fox News and her weather channel, which, by the way, she dearly loves. Children are receiving very little nurturing. Yeah, just I mean, I agree, OG. Uh, it looks like if you know, I don't know why Vaughn Bla uh, was, I guess, just like you said, James uh, vlogging back then. Is that what he does? He just does his daily life, yeah. Like he'll just was, go on the internet, talk about himself all the time, every day. Yeah, I mean, at this point in time, you had things start to appear. I mean, I think at this point in time, you would have had the big atheism, um, theism debate that was still going on on YouTube, stuff like that. When the likes of the amazing atheists were big. And everybody knew Von Helton because he used to just spout crazy shit. And we think at this point in time, he was probably just addicted to being on the internet. Absolutely yeah. addicted to it. And he could not walk away from the camera. I mean, it's one of these sort of things. If, I mean, even an unrelated thing, I'll just try and make it compatible. But if, say, for example, you or I had a death in the family, 
I would maybe put something on a couple of discords that I'm on to say, look, I've had some family problems. Be back in a few days. Hope you're all well. And nobody would hear from me for a few days while it was dealt with. Everything yeah. that happened to Vaughn goes on his or went on his YouTube channel at the time. Despite the fact that I took my kids to Golden Corral the other day. Ooh. Oh wait. <laughs> Oh yeah, wait! That was his idea, not to. Yeah, well, to, yeah. Uh, I guess if I guess if you take your kids to Golden Corral, that's not nurturing, right, guys? Right. Mother appears to have some intellectual limitations. In other words, yeah. they're saying Andrea is stupid. It has been reported, but not verified, that the father is diagnosed schizophrenic. Um, the father James. Wow. So even then, they were like, "He's just, he's a schizo." Yeah. Like he's. You know, because he was telling them about aliens and shit, right? If you let this one play just another couple of seconds, you'll actually hear a rather interesting clip. Uh, this is most of the, he has multiple weapons in, in the home, including knives and loaded guns, which include an SKS assault rifle. Ha <laughs> ha, I wish. Ha <laughs> ha. And a handgun. These weapons are allowed allow them to protect themselves from the aliens that will be invading Earth, as, soon, <laughs> as well as the haters. Invading Earth? Oh, look, that last time was just a little bit of a misunderstanding. That's all. <laughs> the home is cluttered to the point that it is difficult to find a place to sit, and the surfaces, i.e. countertops, tables, coffee table, etc., are covered with dirty dishes, dirty bottles, and other stuff. The family has no income. They are dependent on James's 83-year-old mother who lives next door to them. The children are at risk of... Okay, so that's 83. So, yeah. uh, 90, she was 92. Yeah, that would so, have been yeah. nine years ago. Yeah. Okay. Harm due to the parents' failure to meet their needs. I saw neglect of not just the two infants, but also of the one year old baby as well. She was left in her high chair for the entire two and a half hours I was in the home. For the two and a half hours in a high chair. Yeah. Uh, what? No, my kid would go in the high chair when they had to eat. Yeah. And then I take them out and clean the high chair and clean them. What the fuck? You know, you know, my kids like to go in that little thing they sit down in. Or I, I also had this little swingy thing that I'd put them in. But that's it. I put yeah. them in the swingy thing or in that thing that, like, you know what I'm talking about? Yeah, I know exactly what you thought about. I was going to say my kids were exactly the same. You, yeah. yeah. You I can't put them in that high yeah. chair. That would hurt their arms. For the what first visit, and then a two-hour second visit as well, other than when the 82-year-old grandmother got her out. Baby starts for the hospital's uh, stay, and the SN notes speak for themselves. The babies gained weight while in the hospital, yeah. at least one ounce per day of each of them. When they got home, they lost weight. The infants are six weeks old and have gained no weight since coming home. Uh, they both had a rash when admitted to the hospital. The mother in stated that she's... Oh, oh man. Hey, and um, you see James? Mm -hmm. He's doing it again. Yep. He's self-soothing. A big one used to be his beard because you've seen how well, the front of his beard's fairly long and what he used to do is he used to put both hands up and grab it and it oh. used to come into two forks. When you, basically, you could tell if he'd had a, a heavy lion day because you would have these two separate beards on his chin. <laughs> Stopped holding the other baby when she turned six months old. When SN arrived for a home visit, the parents went to bed and left SN to feed and clothe the babies. The infants were totally covered in oh, feces yeah, and urine. So the infants were totally covered in feces and urine. Father was uh, defecating, uh, not defecating, but uh, throwing. <laughs> Father was defecating on the floor. <laughs> but wow. So, hold on. what did you say? So the urine. Father was uh, defecating, uh, not. Father was. The infants were totally covered in feces and urine. Father was. The infants were totally covered. The twins he's talking yeah. about. Yeah, was uh, uh, not deprecating, but uh, throwing up uh, due to the fact that the infants were covered in pieces. No, no. Again, home visit notes and hospital records speak for themselves. The baby's weight gain of one ounce per day while in the hospital shows they can thrive and placed in, be in a better environment. Note from hospital stated that the parents were feeding babies clabbered milk in MD office during visit and was not aware it was spoiled, refused to feed babies in hospital, always had a reason that the nurses had to feed them. I feel the babies will suffer if left in the current home situation, possible life, possible life endangerment with dehydration and failure to thrive. Wow. So there you have it, read by James Von Helter himself. Now, he claims it was all made up. I somehow doubt that. Now, this is the bad part, folks. That's James had people in to clean the trailer. 
Uh, he claims at this particular time he was in bed ill. And the people that went in to clean actually took photos, mainly of the children's bedrooms. Yeah, this is uh, clearly we warned. The it's not nice. Yeah. And you know what? Yeah. I've been sick and my kids' bedrooms never, you know, would look like yeah. this. Every parent has had that moment where they have been drastically ill, but none of us have so, like there we have one of the kids writing on the wall That's that they want. Awful. I want food. If you could write that, why couldn't you just let them go out and, you know, if my kids are hungry, they they, they could feed themselves. But I, I mean, I guess it depends on if they're how young they are. But still, why couldn't you feed them? Yeah. What the yeah. fuck? I mean, I, I don't know about you, but I mean, I've been in situations in the last few years where yet money is a bit tight and it's a case of the kids can eat, we can all eat a bit less or I can go without sort of thing. And there's been times where I've went without and the kids sort of pick up, where's your dinner, dad? Oh, I'm not hungry, son, I'm all right. You always put the kids first. Yeah. I didn't understand how this guy could put the internet before his And they kids. were getting, they were getting food stamps. He just said that before. Yeah. So they were getting food stamps for them to eat. And he couldn't feed them a bowl of fucking cereal. Food. And yeah, he's kind of neglectful when it comes to food and drink. Oh, Let's think. So oh up. my God. And the bedroom. I don't, now, I don't know. Um, I don't think so, man. From what I've heard, these pictures. the kids used to actually defecate through. Oh, what? What the? What? Basically, the bedroom. The, yeah. That, the way that the bed is, you can see that the slats have been sort of pulled down. I and, thought Shani's bed looked bad. I mean, yeah. you know, like her kid's bed. Like, fuck, man, this is just... These kids were only the slats of the bed. Because this is because James used to lock them in the room while he was on the internet head. and didn't want to be disturbed. He's yeah, claiming that's, that's that the people that came in and cleaned, they actually brought all this stuff with them and dumped it there and made it look like it was bad. Those people are the Frosts. Now, the Frosts are related to Vaughn. Their interest wow. is purely in the children and Ma Helton. What? He can't say that. Ew. He is convinced yeah, that they are against him. He's trying to get him. For coffee? I don't yeah, know. Taking off the coffee, taking his kids away from him. We're talking about um, that. Toilet water coffee. Yeah. Dude, what is that? What that is that? That was a honeydew melon that was left until it started to turn into a puddle. Ugh. Ugh. That is the, just. Ugh. Like yeah, it's on the there. ground. Yeah, the story that Vaughn put out. Yo, is that a can? Yeah, there's, the kids drank nothing but canned juice because that was something that you could just throw in the room with them. And uh, what's that? Oh, hold on. Oh, this is uh, the great alien that Vaughn took a shot at. Great alien Vaughn took a shot at. So, yeah, sub to, to their channel. The alien has small, 84 subscribers, but doing the, the Lord's work. Yeah, it, is a bit of a godsend in this because it does try to add a bit of humor into some of these videos. And I mean, don't get me wrong, one like this, there's no way you could make it funny, there's no way you could save it. It's horrifying, no matter, no matter what it does. But yeah. he is good in the fact that he adds a bit of brevity to some of the later videos and it makes it a bit more bearable. Ew. It's actually something on the floor that had been rotting for at least 21. Yeah, sorry, that's a Todd. Can. That kid, that, a kid could cut themselves. Yeah, sorry, Todd. Um, in Scotland, we just call uh, soft drinks juice. It's just, it's, oh, it's juice. Let's fast for a little bit. And just uh, the, next the way that the beds were. The reason yeah. why they were like that is because right underneath the bed was the heating vent. It's and they had taken the top off the heating vent to poo down it. Because oh. there were kids yeah, yeah, who didn't understand. Food. Yeah. Gross. Oh, this is his tour. Good. Because now that I have a mobile device, first of all, as you can see, this is my I just decided to throw a blanket over the bed. And there's that black comforter and that the dog loves to jump into. You know. And of course, the trolls are like, yeah, man, they don't cope there. <laughs> they don't cope there. Well, apparently there is. All right, here's the filthy house that they keep claiming is filthy. Now, admittedly, I do have these cardboard boxes, but I got plans for them cardboard boxes. Yeah. And like I plans. said, I got some cardboard boxes that I'm storing clothes in. And I got a basket of clothes over there. But, you know, but yeah, this is, a, you know, I mean, it's well, just so horrible looking, right? You, you know. know what? I feel like Vaughn. Yeah, some of it is always put on. 
I'll give you that, Ivy. And like I think OG, you're trying to say the same thing. Some of this is a put on, and yeah. I agree totally. But also the fact that his house looked like this, and um, that he left his mother on the floor, and the, the kids were taken away 13 times, and they looked like shit. They smelled like it adds credibility to the story. I guess I'll say, you know. No, yeah, that's no, not. That's a lie. Now I don't have the girls' room done. That's true. I don't have it done. But everything else is done, okay? <laughs> These trolls are liars, okay? They lie. They lie at the drop of a hat and drop it themselves. And I wanted to show it you with my mobile device. So oh, it's mobile device. You know, they can't say anything. I got, got me some food. Um, this is the girl's room. I ain't got it done yet, admittedly. But I'll have it done long before July 22nd. That's for damn sure. July 22nd is a whole fucking month away yet. But anyway, yeah, they lie. They lie like a, they lie like a dog. You know, what else is fucking new, though, right? But yeah, there's not, as you can see, there's not a damn thing wrong with this house, okay? But see, they'll call CPS or they'll call Clay County or they'll call the police or they'll call, yeah, man, that house is destroyed. It's horrible. Oh my God, the kids are going to die. It's a, it's a damn torture case. They actually, yeah, what is all this crap on the floor? All, you know, this place ain't clean. Yeah, I mean, one's just basically a hodder. It yeah. doesn't clean, it doesn't get rid of crap. I mean, again, don't get me wrong, everybody picks up stuff that, they end up with a little bit of clutter, but what normally ends up yeah, happening yeah, is nobody's eventually, perfect. Yeah, but eventually though, everyone levels. else will hit that point where you say, right, there's a load of rubbish in here. I don't need that. Time yeah. for it to go. This trailer was a torture chamber. Can you believe that? There's they actually bed. said that shit. Oh, it's, it just seems like there's a lot of crumbs and stuff on the floor. Apart from yeah. the dogs. It was a torture Probably. chamber. What, what the fuck, man? I mean, sir, and, and, and the bitch of it is, Clay County actually believed him. <laughs> they called him one time. Said, "I said I have just trying to get all the angles." Is locked in. This my is his room, right? Cellar. Yeah, that's his room. And they actually come out and wanted to see my cellar. Can you believe that? And me living in a yeah, damn trailer. It was on the left. <laughs> yeah, but like that's not clean. Like my bowls don't look like that. But they actually, they actually but, closed you know, that idea. I guess to each their own. I throw yeah, tablets in the back. Idea. Let's see if I'm still. If oh. I'm still Yeah, twenty eight even. Wow, James, that's not normal. I'm yeah, so normal. yo. That is not. How does he wear socks or shoes? Like how are they not broken off? If my nails get a bit over, they'll crack. He's like a vampire, man. So I could see why he thinks he's a vampire. Uh, I honestly didn't understand how somebody could. Eat. <laughs> does, even let he nails get that long. does he sharpen them? Well, wouldn't it surprise any of us? He probably thinks like, that he can it catch looks like he, it looks like he manipulated them, like nailed them, filed them down. Holy, it's guys. probably because of the fact that he's squeezing his feet into whatever boots or shoes he's got and it pushes the, the, the toenail, so it's causing them to grow irregularly. Yo, dude, let's check this out. His feet are so weird. Even the scale, that's not a number. The scale has two eyes and a mouth. And he's like, whoa, that's some crazy ass feet. Oh, that's, man. Because I don't something. see no number. And I got there. some laundry to do. Well, big whoopty shit, you know. And I uh, got a whole bunch of Jerry's uh, and, and the girls' clothes done. There they are. I got to put them away yet. But yeah, it's not, shit. you know, it's, it's, you know, they lie, man. They fucking lie. And why people listen to these fools? And them not even know where in they, they don't they're not even in my damn state, you know. There's a lot of carp uh crap though, like uh, just I don't know if that's dirt or sand. I don't know what the fuck that is. It's just like on the yeah, you, did you see that? It's like on the side panels. Yeah. Uh, that this could be dumb. Vaughn's well me? known for apparently he goes outside and grounds his cell by putting his hands in the, the dirt. So it wouldn't surprise any of us in the slightest if he just he went out to do whatever he's doing. and he claims it's rituals and all sorts of things, but it wouldn't surprise me if he dumped his hands in the dirt, walked in the door, and then started doing the <laughs> with his hands. Oh, well, yeah, maybe he can't reach his feet. I don't know, but still, that is just weird. Listen to these idiots. I he's got talent. I don't know where they're Ew. Why is the toilet brush in the, in the shower? <laughs> You're about to fuck with yeah. that question. <laughs> <laughs> yo man i ain't take i ain't stepping on shit oh yo he probably has fungus like oh man athlete's feet you know because i'm sure I, I doubt he's wearing shower shoes yeah that's not even counting the, the slugs 
Oh, that is disgusting. <laughs> I'm assuming by oh, now yeah. you'll, you'll know about the slugs. Where are they? I don't think they were in the trailer at the, at the point this video was taken, but he has since claimed that, well, it's not just a claim. He says that he has slugs cleaning his bathroom. They are there eating Ew. mold. And he has physically picked a slug up and held it up to the camera to show people this is the, the slug slugs. that cleans his bathroom. Thing. Well, probably, because look, he's got this shit fucking brush in the, it's just laying there. Yeah. I mean, I think that's the shit brush. It looks like the shit brush. <laughs> Kill like the stream, way. folks. <laughs> Get that took care of. Yeah. Uh, it's, okay. That's not too bad. But still, I mean, like I said, I got I throw those things in my bowl in the back of the tank, and they kind of basically do the work itself. You know, the yeah. bowl wants to clean itself. Remember, all you gotta do is help it out a little bit by throwing one of them things in in the in the tank. Smart, my, my my special so cleaner that will get rid of that easy. But yeah, yeah, yeah. I didn't let it get to that point personally. Oh, yeah, yeah. You was trying to obtain nudes from a 14. Didn't she start off like, I'm 18, I'm 17, yeah. I'm 16, and then I'm actually 14, right, James? Didn't you yeah, say that? It was, a, it was a catfish, yeah. That's exactly what happened. I think it was either 17 or 18 it started. Yeah. And it seemed that the lower the number went, the more interesting Vaughn got. Isn't it just horrible? Oh, my God. It's awful, you know. But it's a single wide trailer. What the fuck you expect, right? You know, would you single expect to the hall? Because if you are, you're an idiot. Because it's a single wide trailer. It's just a lot of shit in it. Built in 1971, folks. This trailer was built in 1971. Okay. I have. Oh wow! Yeah, look at I. I didn't realize. Yeah, I don't have any stuff on my stove. Like I'm a freak when it comes to stuff on my stove. I always think it's going to light on fire, so I don't like to leave nothing on. I know exactly what you mean. Uh, my cousin went out of the house and left the dog, and there was something on the counter that the dog must have wanted. They managed to jump up, switch the, the hob on, and knock some plastic stuff onto the, the top of the hob. And when they came back, the house was filled with black smoke, and the dog had collapsed on the floor. I always make sure my cooker's clear. Yeah. The majority of my dishes done. You've got, got a few dishes bought there. But most of them are done. And there you have it, folks. Thanks very much for watching. And I'll see you next time. All right. All right. Well. Whoa, what is happening? Uh, I don't know why it's doing that. <laughs> Seems to be doing all right here. And apparently we just lost Draven. Well, we'll just look at the chat. Um, I unplug the coffee pot and the toaster and all the small appliances because I'm the same way, safety panic. Yeah, like I say, I mean, the, whatever plastic stuff got knocked into the... the Hob at my cousin's house, it let off black smoke, and the dog actually didn't heal it. He passed hey. out. Luckily, no yeah, serious damage. Happened. I, I just tried to, uh, I just tried to, uh, what do you call it? just stop the uh, video, and it kind of freaked out. But I'm gonna, uh, leave anyway because I'm a little over three hours. But yeah, yeah what well, happened? Did it just start, uh, blanking out on you? Um, you seem to be going fine on my end there, and then you just suddenly dropped. Oh, okay. Yeah, because it's just started going blah, 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 blah. like that video was like freaking out. But uh hey James, thank you for coming by. Um, yeah, always a pleasure. I appreciate the videos that you said my way. Not a problem. As I've said to you before, Vaughn's been one of these cases where he's been I've dropped in and out of him for years because he's been brought back to my attention back and forward. And mm -hmm. this time I can't walk away until I see him either homeless or in jail because he's pushed it too far. The, the way that he treated his mother, I am quite happy to spread the word uh, what Vaughn's done over the past. So anytime you're looking for any information, feel free to reach out. Yeah, yeah. And if anything else happens new with his uh, his mother, uh, send it my way. We can do uh, do more of these. But uh, everyone, thank you for uh, coming by. Uh, you know, it's always a pleasure. Like I said, I'm still uh, getting... Um, on board with all this, what this is, uh, oh, uh, James, what's your channel? Uh, nice. you want to shout out your channel name? 
literally James McNeil. Um, I think I've got a grand total of one stream, and it features yourself. <laughs> okay. That was the one that I'd brought on because we had the trolls in Vila's chat, and I just said, you know what, I'll open my stream. You want to come and talk to somebody? Come and talk to me. Yeah. And you never took me up in the offer, but you did. Yeah, and I'm glad, you know. Uh, you know, I'm glad I know Villa to introduce me to you because, you know, you seem like a straight up dude and you and me agree on a lot of things. So it's always uh, it's always great getting new friends across the pond. <laughs> um, right. But yeah, this day, probably, what's up? I was just going to say at the end of the day is <laughs> I don't think there's many people that are going to disagree on this subject or at least yeah. not that are going to be willing to hang around here, you know? Yeah, yeah, I got you. But uh, yeah, I'll probably be doing th this. Will probably be my last stream for the year. So happy New Year to everybody! Happy New oh, Year, happy to, New year to everybody! James. Same to you. All right, and everyone, thank you for coming by. I appreciate everyone and everyone's input. You know, it really helps uh, me to get to know what, what everything is. You know, happening with uh, Vaughn and everything. I know everything is kind of a touch and go. I mean, now his mom is now buried. Now, what the next thing would be? if he's going to have charges or if uh, the frosts are going to kick him out or if the estate goes to him because right it's an estate no i mean i think it's a, going to be a toying cost between what's going to happen first is he going to be evicted or arrested because that okay. estate the will as far as i'm aware because of the the problems that Ma hilton had that will is set in stone there is nothing that vaughn can do to get that property so the only things that he's looking to in the barley right now are eviction or arrest. Okay. And it's literally which one's going to happen first. All right. Well, yeah, <laughs> I will stay tuned. And I mean, I probably won't make a video until next year, but if something does happen between now and then, then I probably would have to make a quick one. <laughs> yeah. But I will, yeah, just keep me updated in the discord, James. Not a problem. And, all the best for 2022, everybody. Yes, definitely. Happy New Year, all, and good night.